guys welcome to my youtube channel developers corner today i am going to start an e-commerce project with node.js so today i am going to show the demo video for the project so this is what i am going to follow we have featured collections special products our popular products and we have blogs also here then we have our store in this project we will learn how to apply filter how we can sort the products how we can make this great system and then we will create this functionality also that image zoom functionality we will also create then we have blobs we will add compare product functionality also mm, wait one more okay yeah now we can see this functionality we will also create here and we can create wish list I need to add some products here wish list we have wish list we can create the login functionality sign up functionality and then we will create the cart and we will create admin panel for this also so guys thanks for watching my video let's meet tomorrow how to create mvc structure for the node.js project we are going to learn how to create an e-commerce project from scratch so let's start so first of all what you have to do is create a folder and i am giving name e-commerce e-commerce okay now what you have to do open in terminal so, okay now next what you have to do is open terminal here and do npm init npm install okay 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 so guys you can see our package load json is created so now i am going to create the mvc structure controller routes oh sorry sorry models config and middlewares and then we have index dot chase and I need some packages like express mongoose bcrypt body parser and dot env So let's install them. So guys, this is our MVC structure that we are going to follow for our Node e-commerce project.
thank you so today i will explain the nbc structure and after that i will create the server so in config folder you can like create our db connections or like we can create our functionality that we can reuse again and again okay in controller we will connect our model to controller and then we will create our functionality like create read update and delete okay in middleware you can create like auth middleware error middleware okay and in model we can write our schemas like okay and in routes we will write our routes like post route get okay so let's start our creation of server so for creating a server you need express require express const app is equal to express and then i am using dot env dot env is equal to require dot env dot config oh sorry dot env dot config then i am using port process dot env dot port or four thousand if port is not available in any file then we will use four thousand then what we have to do is app dot listen port arrow function and log server is running at port dollar port okay now if we start our server npm run server okay so what we have done wrong express require express Okay. Oh, we don't have any dot in file dot v. And then we have port is equal to five thousand. And if we dot e in v. Oh, sorry. spelling is something wrong okay now you can see our server is running at port 5000 okay and if we remove this port from here and save it then our server is running at port 4000 and if we again paste it here and again run then our server is running at 5000 and I'm using a npm package node mode to install node mode what you have to do is you have to run this command npm i node mode dash dash save dash dev to install as a dev dependency then you have to go in your package.json file and then you have to write these two commands two scripts start node index.js and for server node mode index.js how to connect with database i am going to use mongodb and let's start so response oh sorry start our server our okay our server is running and now let's connect with db connect.js 
yes const db connect is equal to async dot connect and here we have to pass the local string so I'm going to okay sorry what I'm doing okay I'm going to use my local DB mongodb is connected so pass this string from here and my database name is dctick okay i will put it in const try okay and catch We can simply log database error log database connected successfully. Fully. Yeah. Now module dot exports to two DB. Oh sorry db db connect yeah now come here db connect and call this yeah our database is successfully connected okay then what i'm going to do i'm going to create a model user model dot js and one more thing i'm going to user ctrl dot js and routes auth routes route dot js okay everything is set db underscore your this and from here I will pass process dot envy dot mongo db yeah our database is successfully connected so what I'm going to do is mdb I'm going to install an extension mongodb This one install okay so what do you have to do is you have to type mdb 
G U M. It will create a schema for you. Okay, we need name, email, mobile, password. One more. What is it? Okay. and sign up okay first name last name email password we are taking first name last name email mobile and password yeah for now it is okay and I don't need this email and mobile should be unique okay this is how you can create your schema and one more time I'm going to show you can install this mongo snippet for node.js extension so it will create your work is easy for you so now next thing what we have to do is we have to create routes so for route const press is equal to require express and then const router is equal to express dot router so router dot post slash register comma register user okay for now I'm leaving it blank okay so now what I have to do is okay I have created route and module dot exports exported this router and then go to index.js then what you have to do is app dot use slash api slash user comma we need that user or we can type auth route Okay, const out router is equal to require mm, dot slash route slash auth route. Okay, so pass it from here auth router and then we have auth route. Okay now we have to go now here we have to require model our user model okay this model so const user is equal to require model slash user model so what you have to do is const create user is equal to request comma response async okay so first of all what we have to do is you have to check if the user is already exist so that thing we can do by using email so what we have to do is const email is equal to request dot body oh sorry dot email okay if then const 
find user is equal to await user dot find email okay if not find user then what we have to do create a new user create a new user else user already exists okay so to create a new user const new user is equal to user dot create request dot body and response dot json new user okay otherwise response dot json says user already exists and status you can write success false now module sports is equal to create user and then go to here so create user create user okay okay router dot post in index we have also passed this thing okay now we don't need this we have created our model controller auth route okay now everything is fine now I'm going to test my API in Postman mm -hmm. skip okay this is tick add request register a user okay this is our post request and our url is localhost 5000 slash api slash user slash register okay and then we have to pass some data in body in which format JSON. So let's check what are the we have first name, last name, email, mobile, and password. Okay. So let's go here. First name. Deep last name Maya email seven five three dot com. We have mobile number it's eight two six four okay and then we have password it's mono one six seven six okay let's try 
okay could not get response okay one more thing we have to do so body parser body parser okay so what we have to do app dot use body parser okay body parser is url content okay app dot use body parser dot code it standard false use individual json slash middle layers try once send okay still we are not getting response first name last name email mobile and password okay let's check what's the problem new object filter find one okay find one user controller okay find Email me. I think this is fine. Okay, still we are not getting response. I think await user dot find. User already exist so let's try once once refresh this digitic user refresh okay so we are not user dot find one if not find user okay then we are creating a new user otherwise we are sending response okay Yeah, our user is successfully created. Uh, wait. Okay, I'm deleting this record. And let's see the output. Okay, so you can check our response is coming, and in also DB we are fetching the data. Okay, now if we again send the request user already exist and success is good false okay Today we will cover error handling and after that we will do login functionality so let's start with error handling so today i will create one middleware error handler dot js and here what we have to do is one we have to create for if like something not found okay so not found const not found request response and next so const error is equal to new error dollar in request you can get that original URL original original URL okay and then we have to response dot status We have to set status it's 404 and then next 
we have to pass the error okay here we have to create one more error handler for our APIs so const error handler request okay error request response and we have next okay so const status code is equal to response dot status 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 code so is equal to is equal to if it is 200 dot status code okay then response dot status then status code okay and then we have to set response dot json in message we have to send error dot message and stack is error dot stack okay and then module dot exports is equal to error handler and we have not found not found okay so now what we have to do is we have to go in index.js and we need to pass it here okay now go to index.js okay one thing we need to keep in mind we have to pass this middleware after this auth route I mean all the after all the routes we have to pass these middlewares so app.use we have not found and then app.use error handler okay and next what we have to do is we need to install a package npm install async express handler I think this is only the package name okay to see okay it's express async handler sorry my mistake npm i express async handler so let's install it and then what you have to do is you have to go in controller okay now import it const async handler is equal to require express async handler okay and then copy it we have to use async handler and pass it from here okay now it is fine so now what you have to do is throw new error what error is there user already exists okay 
so let's try it once npm run server okay app dot request app dot request where i have written error handler okay where i have written app dot request oh sorry app dot use yeah it is running successfully postman and i need mongodb and i need to run this mongod command also okay connect so our db name is digitic users okay i am deleting this record so going postman okay so now request okay the first request is successful okay and if we send again okay oh one thing i have done wrong where i have response mm -mm. request dot status is not a function oh here i have okay now let's try again yeah you can check user already exist stack user already exist at this and this file okay so this thing you have to do for error handling so next what we are going to do is we are going to one minute uh, user model we are going to encrypt the password so for password encryption we will use bcrypt okay so let's start mm, okay so i have already installed bcrypt so for installing bcrypt you have to run this command npm i bcrypt and press enter so your package will be installed okay now what you have to go do is here you have to go so what's my schema name is user schema it's user schema dot pre on save mean when we save this so what will happen is async function Sync function and next oh sorry okay so we need to install const bcrypt is equal to require bcrypt okay then what you have to do is okay one more thing I want to tell you so you can install one extension node module there is one extension node readme I have already installed then what you have to do is you have to click here and view node module readme okay so here you will get that documentation so you don't have to go on browser and then find there is no need to find again and again okay so what you have to do is okay const yeah i need this one control c control v and i need 10 start rounds okay so we are using a sync so i need to write wait here and then this dot password is equal to await bcrypt dot has this dot 
password and we have to pass this salt salt okay i am clicking that db okay now let's try oh we got some error i think i need to run the server npm run server okay our server is running yeah you can see our password is encrypted okay so next thing what we have to do when we are going to create that login functionality now then you have to pass the I mean sorry you have to match that password for that we need create one more functionality here user schema dot methods dot is password match and is equal to async function so we have to pass that entered password here entered password okay and then what we have to do is return await return await you have to do you have to use bcrypt dot compare so what you have to compare is you have to compare entered password and this dot password okay if password is correct then it will return true if password is not correct then it will return false okay so now let's create that um, login controller const login login user control is equal to so we have to use async handler async handler then async okay and then request response okay this thing you have to use in all like our I mean functions okay so what we have to do is we are going to use email and password is equal to request dot body Okay, let's first check what we are getting in email and password email and password okay for this I need to create a route to create a route you have to go here okay so one minute guys okay so I am creating it login and you have to do the same thing I think I forgot to export it's login user control and okay so next what we have to do is user control okay or throughout so login user control here I will get okay let's create an api so login and we need only okay let's try once and you can check in console we are getting our mail id and password from body we are passing all these details and in console we are getting with the help of request.body in request.body you will get all the data here like this data okay so first of all what we have to do is we 
we need to find that particular user that it is exist or not check if user exists or not <laughs> okay const find user is equal to await user dot find one and then email okay so now there are two cases if user found if you if find user user and then if you if we got the user then we need to match the password also so find user one minute one thing i want to tell so this method now is password match this method you can get here in this find user dot is password matched okay and from here what you have to pass this password password okay so what will happen next you have to pass this password from here then it will go here and if it it will match from that current password then it will return true otherwise it will return false okay so okay and then we have else throw new error what is the error invalid credentials okay otherwise response dot json find user so let's try once okay yeah our password is matched and if i incorrect the password yeah invalid credentials if i will again correct this okay it will returning the user so what we have to do next is we have to install json web token okay so we will install json web token npm i json web token okay so our json web token is installed so we need to go in jwt token dot js okay so let's generate the token so what you have to do is const okay oh what is happening const jwt is equal to require json web token and then const generate token is equal to so we will we are going to use id to generate the token okay so it will return return jwt dot sign for more documentation you can go you know what to read me from here you will get like how we can sign the token okay so i'm going to use the id id and we need to pass a secret key so we will create a secret key in our .env file 
so what we can type jwt underscore secret is equal to my secret okay so go again here and then process dot env dot jwt underscore secret okay and it will expires in I think we can do in 3d okay so let's export it module dot exports is equal to generate token so from here we will generate the token okay next what we have to do is um, you have to go in controller okay user controller so create a so underscore id is equal to find user dot underscore id first name find user dot first name last name Oh, sorry. Find user dot last name, and then we have email. Find user dot email, and we have mobile. Find user dot mm, it's what is okay it's mobile mobile okay and next thing what we have to do is we have to generate the token token so generate token and what you need to pass is find user dot ID okay and one more thing we need to do so we have to create an admin role also now so is admin type string okay and default it's it will be what user okay and now let's clear the records delete delete okay let's see register okay is admin oh sorry 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 we can give it roll I'm going wrong so clear the records okay yeah role is user and our user is successful created then what we have to do is we have to create login slash login send yeah our token is generated okay so one more thing I am doing here duplicate login a user okay and rename it I think I have done okay 
register. Let's copy this control C. Okay, it's already passed here. So one thing we can do auth and we can okay. So our two functionalities are done. Okay. And if we we are getting the data and if our password is wrong then invalid credit. Learn how to update user, how to delete the user and how to fetch the users and how to fetch a single user. So let's start with fetch user. So get all users so const get a user is equal to async handler then async request response and then okay now what we need const get okay sorry get all user get users is equal to await user dot find okay so what we are going to do we will wrap it in try and catch try and catch error throw new error and pass error here okay and paste it here and response.json get users now export it get all users okay now go to routes mm. okay router dot pod router dot get what we can do all users comma request oh what's the function name get all users get all get all users okay so let's try once postman and i need mongodb and one more thing i need mongod okay this is my db and I have only one user okay so let's start digitic auth add request get all users and our endpoint is control P okay send message not found oh sorry get test users Okay, what's my route? Okay, all users. Sorry, all test users. Okay, we are getting our users. Let's create a new user also. It's mono. Password is same. 
एन मोनो डी जीरो टू थ्री टू ओके लेट्स क्रिएट दिस यूजर ओके वी आर गेटिंग एरर दैट मोबाइल डुप्लीकेट की सो आई वॉन्ट टू चेंज द नंबर टू नाइन फाइव फोर टू थ्री फोर ओके आवर न्यू यूजर इज क्रिएटेड एंड देन इफ यू फेस द यूजर्स सो वी आर गेटिंग ऑल द यूजर्स ओके सो नेक्स्ट थिंग वाट वी विल डू इज विल फेच ए सिंगल यूजर सो गेट ए सिंगल यूजर फॉर दिस वट वी नीड कॉन्स्ट गेट ए यूजर इज इक्वल टू अ सिंक हैंडलर to a sync handler a sync request response okay so now what we need is we need id from where from params quest dot params okay and if we log this id id and export it get a user and then what we need we need to go to auth route control c v okay it's user if we pass id from here and we need get a user okay so now i am copying this id and i need a new request it's outside i need any new request edit get a user okay control a control c control v and from here we need to pass the id control c control v and send now if you check in terminal we will get the id terminal which where i am see we are getting this id here okay so we need to use this id try catch error What I'm doing? Shit, man! Yeah, throw new error. Error. Okay. Now what you need to do is get a user is equal to await user dot find by id by id. and we need to pass this id here and response dot json we need to pass get a user okay let's check it once message cast to object id field for value id okay I think it's one minute. Log quest dot params. Okay. Okay. ID we are getting. Oh, sorry. We need. We don't need to pass it like this. We need to pass it simply. Okay. If we send the request again. yeah we are getting the user okay so next what we do we will learn how to delete a user so we will simply copy this and only change this one delete a user 
and same thing we need to do here delete a user here you will get the deleted user and we need to export it delete a user go here and delete and here we need to pass delete a user okay so we need a new request it's delete and we need to copy this okay delete a user okay send the request yeah here we will get that deleted user and if we check in okay one minute ah huh? oh sorry sorry one thing i forgot find by it's find by id what i know find by id and delete okay so now send the request and now if we check here our user is deleted okay and now next thing is how we can update the user so for update user create user login user here we will do update a user so const update a user is equal to async handler async request response okay so okay const id is equal to request dot params now i am normally telling you that how we can update the user for updating a user there is one more way for that we need to verify the user first that user verification we will do in next video then i will tell you the another way that how we can do that okay so const okay try catch error throw new error error okay const update user is equal to await user dot find by id and update in that next method we will get this id from another way first we will verify that user okay then we will get the user from request not from params okay so from here we i need to pass the id and in next what i need to update first name request dot body dot first name last name we can update request dot body dot last name then we have email request dot body dot email then we have mobile it's request dot body dot email to prevent the errors what we can do is we can check 
like this okay and here we need to pass new true and in finally we will get response dot json update user update user you can write it updated user okay let's pass this export it updated user control C V auto put and here we need to pass updated user okay updated user is not defined okay what I named is update our user it's updated user okay so what we need to do is we need to create a new request update a user and this request is put author output okay and control c control v i think this user is deleted we need to create a new user from here we need control v JSON. So we need to update it. It's mono one, the yeah, one, mono two, three, three, and in pass number mobile send. Yeah, okay. It's email mobile, email mobile. In both, we are getting. Email ID, why? One minute, user control. Oh, sorry, it's my mistake. Mobile, yeah, now we are getting correct number. And if you check in DB, see here it is also updated. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video. Let's meet in next video. In next meet video. I will verify the token and then we will get the user from request then we don't need to get this id from request.params ok recover thank you. auth verification and then we will check if the user is admin or not then we will do some validation for mongodb id then we will do user block or unblock functionality that admin can block the users okay so let's start so first of all I'm going to do some changes in our model okay so <coughs> we have first name last name email mobile number password role okay so one more thing I'm some things I'm going to add card type array <coughs> default it's blank okay and then one thing I'm going to add address object id object one minute user addresses type object id
references mm, address we will create new collection after that sometime so second thing is wish list I mean third thing is wish list type object ID and ref French is what product product okay we have cart we have address which list okay and one more thing we need to do we need time stamps also time stamps stamps <coughs> true that's it for here so next thing what we have to do is for user model it is okay for now and now we are going to create one middleware both middleware dot js okay in mod middleware what we will do is we will verify the jwt token okay and then we will do we will check here that if the user is admin or not okay let's start so for that we need const user is equal to require slash user model <coughs> second thing what we need is jwt equal to require json web token okay and third thing what we need is express async handler async handler is equal to require Express async handler okay so const auth middleware is equal to express async handler I don't need you <coughs> async handler async Best response and next so let's create a variable name token let token okay if request dot headers dot authorization dot starts with what b error b error then <coughs> what we have to do is else throw new error there is no token attached to the header okay and if token is present then token is equal to request dot headers dot authorization dot split blank space <coughs> okay split convert it into array and we need the second one value okay then try and 
catch error throw new error what is the error not authorized expired <coughs> please login again okay and then in try what we need to do is if <coughs> if I think I am doing something wrong Try catch. Okay, okay, okay. If token is there, if token is there, what you need to do? You need to decode cons decoded is equal to we need to verify the token jwt dot verify in verify we need to pass the token which we will get from headers and our secret key process dot env dot jwt underscore secret okay then so let's first check what we are getting in decoded decoded so module <coughs> dot exports is equal to auth middleware so what you need to do is you have to go in routes okay so where you want to use this middleware now you have to pass like mm, where we can use okay you can use like this auth middleware okay <coughs> mm -mm. okay like this you can pass so here I'm going to create one more middleware okay oh throughout we are getting a user okay so <coughs> postman I need run server <coughs> mm -mm. object ID is not defined okay where is model 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 dot schema dot types dot object id this we need to pass here sorry for my mistake okay still we have error okay what's the error module not found which module we not found
so let's try it once both middleware I have passed here <coughs> our server is running Let's create the new user, register a user, send ok, one user is created, second is mono, mono, it's 92, <coughs> second user is also created. So next what we have to do is. I am creating now the admin ok <coughs> admin update <coughs> so now now deep is admin ok so what we need to do is we need to log in from here so we got the token control C get the user bearer token control A control V and we need to get the ID of this person mono and if we go here control V Okay, it's sending request and if we will check then we are getting <coughs> decoded user okay so next what we have to do is we have to go here so we need to find the user with the help of this ID okay with the help of this ID we will find the user so const user is equal to Await user dot find by ID find by ID so decoded dot ID okay and then request dot user is equal to user okay and then next okay if you check now yeah we are getting the user okay we are getting our user so next what I'm going to do is okay I will show one more thing to you if I am removing this no authorization token expired okay and if I will add again the k we are getting the user okay so next thing what we will do is we will check we will create one more middleware which is is admin so const is admin is equal to async handler async request response next okay so here what we will do is <coughs> const we will get the email from so we can what we can do is now we will get everything in request dot user okay is equal to request dot wait one more thing I will show you request dot user okay request to user now go to route and in this request we will check is admin so is admin okay oh we got the error router dot get something wrong we have done here mm -mm. okay oh I got it 
you send the request then you can check we are getting the user in request dot user that I have console dot log here okay so control Z. what we will do is const <laughs> email is request dot user we are taking email from user request dot user then we will find the user admin user is equal to <coughs> await user dot find one email okay then if admin user dot role not equal to equal to admin if then what we need to do throw new error in error what we need to give you are not an admin okay what's the matter here it will pass the request okay so send because now deep is an admin okay and yeah we are getting our user so one more thing I'm going to add here which is okay let's first do the pending work I'm going to change something user control where is update the user now we can get our ID from request dot user okay for updating a user we don't need to cannot destructure property okay it should be underscore okay request dot user as it is undefined Oh, sorry. So where is updated? Okay, I think delete user. Edit test user and pass. Auth middleware. Okay. And now if you will check, not found. API user edit. It's edit test user. Okay, cannot destructure property type ID. Okay, I think it is. Okay, let's first check what is request. What we are getting in log request dot user. Okay, ID is not defined. So let's first check what we are getting in request dot user. Both middleware update user add test user. Okay. Here it is correct. 
United dash user is also correct. Let's log in again once. Control C user control V. Still it is giving null. Yeah, now we are getting the user. Okay. It's null. User control. users we can see our user is updated okay so now we will do one more thing I am going to add one more field here is blocked so is blocked its type Okay. boolean and default it is <coughs> false okay default it is false now we will create two more routes so two thing we need to remember only admin can block users okay so it's Block dash user slash id which user we want to block unblock dash user id okay now go to the last so const block user is equal to async handler async request response okay control cv and it's unblock block user unblock user oh unblock user <coughs> okay so from here you need to pass block user and then second you need to pass where is unblock user okay <coughs> so our two routes are ready <coughs> let's focus on the functionality so what you need to do is you need to const id is equal to what request dot params okay <coughs> now try then catch error and then throw new error error okay so what you will do is const block equal to user user dot find by id and update what you need to update is for with the help of id is blocked true and what is not it's new true Okay, same thing copy and paste here okay here what you need to do is you need to make it false unblock and block response dot 
Jason. What we can do? We can simply send. Jason. Message. User blocked. Okay. Then come here. User unblocked. Yeah, nice. So blocked as user. My route is my route is blocked as user ID. Okay. So let's get all the users and I want to block which user which user I'm going to block this user. So send cannot destructure property email of request dot user. Why you can't destructure? const id cannot destructure email 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 cannot destructure email where it is or the middle where ok invalid credentials ok i got it got it got it got it I have updated the user that's why <coughs> control C control V user blocked okay let's duplicate the request edit it unblock Unblock cannot again. Why we are getting <clears throat> what's the problem? It's unblocked as user. user id unblocked as user and we are given id ok go to authorization you see Shoot, yeah. user unblocked ok user blocked if you check the status register a user ok mono db mono dev ok it's control c control v now you will get the token control c not an admin let's refresh admin update refresh user blocked control a control c okay. 
which are unblocked now if we check it's un is unblocked false send oh my god why are you block user unblock user block user oh fuck what I'm doing sorry guys my mistake okay let's copy this false now it's true so next thing what, what we will do is we are going to validate the mongodb id so utils validate mongo Yes. So const mongoose is equal to require mongoose. So const validate. valid then throw new error this id is not valid or not found <coughs> so module dot exports MongoDB ID. So now go to go to go to go to user controller. Let's validate MongoDB ID. So where we are going to use this ID underscore ID? Okay. So get tool get a user. schema is validation of function okay validate mongo mongo's dot okay yeah now it's working so thank you guys for watching this video please let me know if anything you want to add from your side i will add okay and do comments also whatever you will 
need and we will do together we will learn more about authentication so today we will cover refresh token so i need cookie parser so i am installing cookie parser npm i cookie parser okay so next what you have to do is you have to go in model and here you need to add one more field refresh token type string okay so next what you have to do is you have to go here and app dot use so first of all I need to cookie const cookie parser is equal to require cookie parser so app dot use cookie parser and call it okay so only that much we need to do in index.js and in user model so next what you have to do is you have to create one more file here we can name it as refresh token dot js so go in jwt token and paste it here generate refresh token okay and it will expire in okay this is 3d and our normal token is for one day okay so mm -mm okay one day and it's three day okay so next what you have to do is you have to go in user controller go up and import it's generate what's the name of that function generate refresh token okay generate refresh token generate refresh token okay so next thing what you have to do is at the time of login user creation okay Token okay, if user okay, const refresh token is equal to await. Generate refresh token. Find user dot id. Okay. And next thing what we have to do is we have to response dot cookie. Okay, we have generated refresh token okay we need to update in the const find update user is equal to await user dot find one five one and update 
find one and update so find user dot id okay find user dot id and it's refresh token we can pass like this refresh token refresh token new true okay so update user await we have refresh token user dot id It's fine. Find user user dot okay. I think it should be underscore id here. Okay, next thing what we have to do is we have to response dot cookie refresh. We have to set the refresh token in cookies, comma refresh token. HTTP only it's true and max age it's 24 into 60 into 60 into where is okay thousand okay and next what you have to do is it's generate token yeah that's it one day done it for one day okay I think one day user model JWT token 24 okay so now try to log in and if we go in cookies our refresh token is here and it is valid for 24th november okay so next thing what we have to do is We have to create a new function named <coughs> handle refresh token const handle refresh token is equal to async handler async request response okay and export it once so it's handle refresh token okay go to author where is user control logs author out it will be handle or we can type simply refresh okay and here what you need to do is handle refresh token okay so next thing what we need to do is we need to create the functionality of handle refresh token 
okay so first of all what we need to check is const cookie is equal to request dot cookies and if I log cookie let's see what it will return let's create a new request and request and this request user route okay one minute or throughout it should be get okay so copy this user slash refresh refresh okay refresh token so let's send it message there is no token attached to the header okay refresh handle refresh token why it need refresh and refresh token okay get 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 try so api user refresh okay so if we check we are getting our refresh token from cookies okay so next what we need to do is we need to if we need to do if not cookie dot refresh token throw new error no refresh token in cookies okay then const refresh token is equal to cookie dot refresh token okay so log refresh token if I send the request again yeah I am getting the request token in uh, refresh token okay if now what we need to do is const user is equal to await user dot find one find one now we need to find the user with the help of this refresh token which we are getting from cookie okay so response dot json user okay if we yeah we are getting the user okay with the help of this refresh token we get from cookie now we are getting the user here so next thing what we need to do we need to give one more condition if not user if we don't find this user throw new error no refresh token present in db or not matched we can say okay so next thing what we have to do is if we find the refresh token in db and if we find the refresh token in cookies 
then we need to verify that refresh token jwt dot dot verify why I'm not take to write jwt okay sorry so const jwt is equal to require json web token then here it is where it is where it is its handle yeah jwt dot verify what we need to verify refresh token okay so what is our secret process dot env dot jwt underscore secret okay then error and decode it okay if error or where is or 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 user dot name user dot name this user dot name let's check once what I am getting in decoded log decoded I think I am getting error is not defined where are you okay sorry 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 error or decoded R R okay okay we are using ID na so if error or user dot ID not equal to equal to decoded dot id then what we need to do is throw new error there is something something wrong with refresh token token okay else the new access token access token is equal to jwt dot sign sign user name we are decoding user dot id okay we can type we can get the same from this where I am doing okay okay const access token is equal to generate token and we need to response dot json access token okay let's try it once message find user is not defined where i have written find user find user find user this request is get find user 6439 64 okay we need to use user So 
so we are getting our new access token okay so next what we have to do is we need to handle logout also so slash slash logout so const logout is equal to async handler async request response okay so export it logout okay now create a new route should be router dot get slash logout and log out logout 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 where is logout okay so what we have to do is we need to author out okay user controller so again here we need to check cookies okay same thing we need to do here const refresh token is equal to Okay, then we need to find the user. If not user, then what we need to do is response dot clear cookie refresh token it's a refresh token okay return response dot status two hundred four which is forbidden okay and what we need to do is await user dot find one find one and update find one and update with the help of refresh token we will find and refresh token is equal to blank okay copy the same and do it once again so let's try once okay 
user slash log out why it is having Okay, sorry. Return response dot send status two zero four. See. no content okay and if you check cookies there are no cookies if we log in cookies are there log out mm, now we can refresh it login cookies we are getting okay no close zero cookies okay we will work on product module so let's start with creating product model so i will create a new file <coughs> product model dot js okay so now i will generate one model mdbgu <coughs> so let's generate our model product and change it to product schema so in product schema we need title title is type string required to it should not be unique okay trim so next thing I want is slug is type string required true unique true lower case true so next thing I want description description okay type string required to <coughs> and then I need price price it's type number required to okay then I need category it's type dot 
types dot types dot object id and references we will create category <coughs> category okay next thing we want is quantity quantity it should be a number then we need images type it should be a array because we have a number of images <clears throat> then we have mm -mm, color type string brown or red we yeah, are red red then we have ratings ratings Posted by its type mongoose dot schema dot types dot object ID and references user. Okay. Then we will add brown. <coughs> I will add here brown. Type number and default it will be zero. Okay, and <coughs> timestamps true. Okay, so our model is ready title slug description price category brand color yeah <coughs> so now what we have to do is we need to create a controller named product controller ctrl dot js then we need route product route dot js ok 
okay so go to product here so const product <coughs> is equal to require dot dot slash dot dot slash oh i'm models slash product model and then module dot exports const create product is equal to one more thing we need const async Handler is going to require express async handler. Okay, so const product is equal to async handler, then async request response. export create product now next thing is we need to create route const express is equal to require express then const router is equal to express dot router then module dot <coughs> exports is equal to router okay so first route is router dot post it can be posts create product create product okay so now next thing what we need to do is go to index.js copy this api slash product and then it should be product router so const product router is equal to require slash product route so go here and then this product route response dot json Is hey, it's product post route. So let's open Postman. So today I will create new folder. should be product so add a request this request will be post so today I will add one more thing localhost 5000 slash product slash so open mongodb connect oh god now let's connect 
so dg tick okay so let's try to send the request okay i need to start my server npm run server so let's try to send a request yeah our product post route is working so next thing what we have to do is now we will create product post route so let's start try catch error throw new error and pass error here error okay so so now what we need to do is const new product is equal to await JSON we will pass C control V okay so we need one okay let's try to create one product so let's check first our product model we need title Slug description price. No, oh, so let's create one by one. So body. so type title we can type apple watch apple watch select abc description hey this is apple product or you can write anything what you want so then next thing is category which will which we will add later so price it would be 500 will be so we have brand okay quantity rest things are not needed i think okay let's save this ones yeah if we go in so refresh it once 
you guys can see we have id title apple watch select abc select abc description price sold zero images rating okay images rating color we have not given okay, quantity yeah we can add quantity okay quantity should be required true type number it's required true okay so quantity 100 okay error duplicate key apple watch 2 yeah so our new product is also created refresh yeah so our create product functionality is done so now start with okay Now we will do fetch all products. So const or we can do get a product route. We can create get a product route. Get a product is equal to async handler async request response try catch error throw new error error ok so const find product is equal to await product dot find by id this id we will get from const id is equal to id is equal to request dot params okay So let's pass the ID here. Okay, and then response dot JSON find product. So let's create down a route. It will be a get route. Get ID. Let's export it first get a product so get a product okay so let's try this request will be create a product okay so now create a new request get a product so localhost host 5000 slash api slash product slash we need id so id will be this okay yeah we are getting our product okay so
so next what we will do is we will create one more route here oh sorry post control const get whole product is equal to async handler Sync request response const okay try catch error throw new error error pass the error here so const get all products is equal to await product dot find and then response dot json will be get all products export it get all products and it will be a route get request router dot get slash get all product so let's try once now add a new request get all products get all products so localhost let's see if I got product yeah we are getting all the products whatever we have had if we create new three send now we are getting three products okay so we'll cover product updates and functionality product deletion functionality product filtering okay so let's start so first of all I want to change some schema types okay so that we can more practice about filtering after that after some time we will do like this like with the help of id we will store the category and there is brands okay so now i am converting into string so we can put manually required true and uh, yeah this one also required true and then we have color it will be also required true okay so we have timestamps ratings okay so today i will tell you two more modules in npm packages so first one is npm i morgan So it helps to get that what request we are making, what queries we are passing in the in here terminal. So go to index.js and then type const Morgan Morgan is equal to require Morgan. Okay, so app dot use Morgan and call it. So let's run the server. Server. Okay, let's create one request. Okay, it 
is giving blank y product okay so let's create some products and now create a request so now you can see we are getting time what type of request is what url is and it's http how much time it takes okay so there are some methods like combined common developer show tiny so we will use dev so if we make request then see we are only getting get api product status and how much time it takes okay so second thing i will tell you is slugify npm i slugify now go to product controller so const slugify is equal to require slugify slugify okay to know more about slugify you can visit slugify so with the help of slugify we can do this type of operations we can trim okay we can make our i mean we, we can convert it to lower case we can remove some characters okay we can remove spaces okay so with the help of this we can okay so create product okay if request dot body dot title title then what we need to do is request dot body dot body dot slug is equal to slugify request dot body dot title okay so next thing what we will do is so let's create one more product now we can remove this okay why i'm not able to do back what's the problem oh sorry rotation so create a product so remove this slug okay and it's apple laptop or we can type samsung laptop so brand is <coughs> samsung category is laptop okay if you create the product so see we will get something like this okay so next thing what we will do is we will do product updation so for product updation we need to create a function update product is equal to async handler async request response then we will get okay then we need to do try catch catch error then throw new error and then pass the error okay so first of all we need to check if request dot body dot title body dot title 
then what we need to do is request dot body dot slug is equal to is equal to slugify slugify request dot body dot title okay then what we need to do is const update product is equal to await product dot product dot find one find one and update okay find one and update so how we can find the product is mm -mm. we will get it with the help of id const id is equal to request dot params okay so id request dot body then new true okay i think i have done something wrong request dot body okay okay it will not come like this and then we have new true okay so i think this id also will come like this hmm. so let's create our new route product route so control cv it would be will be put so let's first export it update product update product then okay response dot json is update product so let's pass it here update product okay so get mm -mm, all products so we need the id Control C create a new route mean request it will be put so update a product so localhost product slash ID okay then what we need to change is Mm -hmm. yeah so we will change our title title so now title is apple gf laptop so now we will do is apple gf laptop 66 whatever we can do okay so our title is updated so next thing what we will do is we will do product deletion so copy this control v type delete product then we don't need to do this okay so make it delete product so find one we can type find by id and delete find one or we can type okay id so export it lead product create new route it will be 
delete and then exp delete 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 product so if you try to let duplicate it now let's delete a product okay so copy this id paste here request will be delete save this and send the request so our this product is deleted if we get all the products so we have only one product okay so next thing what we have to do is we need to mm -mm, where is our user controller user controller mm -mm, okay product route okay so we need to import const middleware host middleware so we need to import this we need to check that if it is admin then only we can delete product then only we can update product then only we can create a product so const what you can simply type is admin if it will read const is admin it's good to require so dot dot slash middleware slash mm -hmm. auth middleware okay so we are okay so here we can do is admin okay and one more thing we need to do is what is the second thing auth middleware auth middleware okay so auth middleware it will check both of the conditions okay let's try once so let's first check the user who is admin okay I forgot the password. Mm -mm. Auth login a user. Okay, please help me God. Yeah. So, Control C. Mm -mm. Okay, we will do update product headers. BRR token. Control A, Control V. And then if we update the product is send message cannot the structure property email or request dot user or as it is undefined cannot request the structure property email or the middleware email 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 from where we will get email okay const email is equal to request dot user okay logged in take product this beer token okay tomorrow it's working fine mm -hmm. so let's first check log request dot user what we are getting in request dot user send a request now go to terminal okay we are getting undefined is admin okay I got it product route I think this is the problem because first it is it is checking for his admin then it is going for auth middleware.
so if we try now yeah we are able to update the title so next thing what we will do is we will do the main thing filtering sorting pagination and we will do field limitation so first of all i started with mm -mm. first of all i will tell you one more thing from model so go to model so we have timestamps okay sold okay like this if we want to hide this sold from user then what you can do is you can type select select and false okay and we are getting sold here if we go to get all products yeah then you can see we are not getting sold here okay wherever you will do the select false you will not get here okay we are permanently hiding it from user so this is the one way that i want to tell you so next thing what we will do is we will do product filtering so product route okay so we have to go in product controller get all product okay create product update delete get a product okay so let's come in get all product so first of all i will show you what we are getting in request dot query okay so postman get all product mm, go to prams okay so send it okay so you can see we are getting max price brand okay in request dot query so query what we will do is next what we will do is so const first thing we can do we can pass simply this request dot query here and then if we check um, what we can do is we can type bran bran oh i think only we have one product we have only one product okay so let's create some product first it will be a lenovo laptop copy this lenovo laptop okay his price is 32500 color is red so send the there is no token okay we need to attach the token so this is our token control c and then we need to create a product body okay authorization bearer token if we send the request we are able to create a pro okay i have done the spelling mistake okay let it be so now create one more product we have msi 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 laptop okay so its price is four two five zero zero our second thing is also done so next thing we will do is we have apple samsung my mm, mm, hcl or hp we can create its price is 12500 okay so next thing we will add some watch watch okay so changes to watch hp okay 
ओके सो वन मोर प्रोडक्ट इज क्रिएटेड सो सेकेंड थिंग वी विल डू इज लेनोवाच हुज कॉस्ट इज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड एंड कलर इज येलो then you can type apple and color is green price is okay so i think we have lot of products now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay we have sent products now so go to get all products okay so what i'm doing is request dot query okay so if we pass brand is equal to hp hp see only we are getting hp laptops okay and color is equal to red so only we are getting laptop whose color is red okay if we do yellow then we have no product okay so first thing you can do like this okay this is not an advanced filtering okay and then i am only telling you the ways so next thing what you can do is like you can type um, brand okay brand then request dot query dot brand if we done now then we are getting only hp laptops okay same like this you can type category Okay, we have HP laptop and HP watch. Okay, then if we request dot query dot category. Okay, if we pass here and category is equal to watch, then it will give you watch only. Okay, so this is. one more way okay there is one more way that we can do is we can do product dot where where we can type category category dot equals 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 to request dot query dot category okay if we try now see we are getting watch is watch watch okay watch this is the another way and now we are going to finally create our main way that we are going to follow so for that what we need to do is we need to destructure the query object okay so for destructuring query query okay sorry don't need to destructure we need to get all this request dot query okay if we type log query object if we check then what we are what we will get let's check once okay okay so we are getting this okay so if we pass one minute like if we pass mm -mm, and and sort is equal to we will sort according according to price send 
okay then we are getting short here so next thing what we will do is first of all we will perform the filtering then we will perform <clears throat> then we will perform sorting then we will perform limiting and after that we will do pagination so let's start with filtering so what we need to do is remove this okay oh sorry control z i'm here so const exclude exclude fields so what fields we need to exclude is like page then we have sort then we have limit okay limit and then we have fields fields okay so after that what we will do is exclude fields dot for each we will delete all these fields if it is available in request dot query so its element delete delete what we need to delete is query object in el we will get page sort okay and pass it like this okay so let's start what we are getting in okay this is my query obj2 is equal to okay so we are storing query object 2 okay so this is our main query mean whatever original request dot query and this is our modified so let's start okay so okay we are getting undefined it's q u e r e object 2 what i missed okay for each delete it feels okay we are getting okay 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 i got it got it got it got it okay sorry this is our original you are okay in original query so send see this is our modified one and this is our original one okay so next what we will do is sorry I confused here so what we need to do is let then you can pass 
find query object okay if we we are getting only hp watch okay and category is watch so let's go to the advanced thing what we can't do here is like if i want to type like price i can do like only price is equal to 4000 okay i can't price i can't do like price greater than or price equal to for that what we will do is price gte is equal to is equal to 100 okay if i do like this now we will get this error so for that what we will do is so const okay sorry we need to assign the value again so let query string let query string is equal to json dot stringify stringify what we will stringify query object okay this query object what we are getting after deletion I mean excluding the fields we will pass here then our query string is equal to query string dot replace to what we will replace is so slash p where is slash p okay slash b so that it will exactly match our output input okay so gte it can be gte gt lte okay then it's it is lt okay so now like this we need to do and after that we need to type g so that if we don't mean if we don't add gina then it will mean match only one and if you add g then it will match the whole thing okay so comma match match is equal to let's take template strings dollar 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 match okay and then log json dot dot parse query string query str okay so let's create a request yeah you guys can see we are getting the output like this okay and here our output is like something like query obj obj now if you send the request see what we are getting here and after doing this operation what we are getting here okay so let's remove then what you need to do is <coughs> we have to store const query is equal to tour dot find tour dot find json dot parse json dot parse query query str okay and remove this get all product okay so const oh sorry product so 
product product is equal to await await query and then we need to pass product okay let's try it once if we send yeah now we are getting our values so if we restrict it to 1500 then we are not getting okay if we it's 1200 500 okay 12 500 and one we will do then we are not getting the results who are less than 12500 okay and if we pass and price price lte is equal to less than equal to what we will do it okay we are i'm doing 42000 42000 okay then we are only getting two results okay so our filtering is done here so let's move to sorting mm -mm. okay so filtering okay it will be easy to understand you understand for you okay then we have sorting sorting okay so if request dot query dot sort okay if request dot query dot source else else okay then what we need to do is this query okay is equal to query dot query dot sort sort like we need to okay first we need to split our query so const sort by is equal to request dot query dot sort okay so what we are doing is mm, sort is equal to like category comma mm, mm, category brand okay so if we pass the sort query now so we have to write like this okay and if we pass here now then we need to write like this like category category brand we have to sort like this mean we have to make in this form so that's why i need to split it with comma okay then i need to join it join that with blank space mm, okay join okay so then we need to pass here sort by okay if not then we will show our data is as query dot sort query dot sort based on created date created created date i know we don't have created date ok 
okay let's see what we are getting okay created at minus created at okay so let's try sorting once okay assignment to constant variable oh oh constant variable where and what i have done which variable it is assignment to constant variable product control okay let's see where and what i have done query okay this we need to take let so yeah so now we are getting laptop l m let's check category l l okay l then w okay and if we like if you do minus then it will come like w l sorry w w w l l yeah and if we pass brand okay then l yeah it's working fine okay so next thing what we will do is we will learn how to limit the fields limiting limiting the fields guys this video is going so long so if request dot query dot fields then what you need to do is else the same we like we have done like this now select false we will do with request dot query dot fields so first of all i need to copy this const fields is equal to request dot query dot fields then split with comma and join with blank space okay then control c query is equal to query dot select select mm, fields fields okay otherwise query is equal to query dot select one thing i will show you we are getting this dash dash v this dash dash is v is for mongo's internal operations okay so we don't need to show it to user okay so let's if we do dash dash i think it's underscore underscore v let's check it okay it's underscore underscore v okay so if we check fields is equal to mm, mm, mm. what we need is like if we need only title mm, price mm, category okay enter okay so like this we can limit our fields okay so and if we don't pass anything then it will not give mm. one minute okay it will add or oh, if we do minus now then it will not give that's just v okay Mm, and like one more thing we can do is control z if we give minus here 
then we will not get this title price and category field also okay so now move to pagination slash slash pagination okay so we have three things to do here like we have page we have limit mean on one page how many product we can show okay and then skip so let or we can take const here const page is equal to request dot query dot page okay star 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 very star one first of all i'm showing you normally what it will return okay so const limit is equal to request dot query dot limit okay then we have skip const skip is equal to page total number of pages minus one into limit okay if we log page limit and then skip <clears throat> so we need to pass here page is equal to one and limit okay and limit is equal to mm, three so one two three oh i'm only okay so we are getting one three and zero okay and if we do page is equal to two then we are going we are getting two three three okay so next thing what we need to do is query is equal to query dot skip here you need to pass the skip skip okay then you need to limit dot limit 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 okay we are getting this skip with the help of page okay and with the help of limit like first time it is like not skipping products okay second time it is skipping skipping three products page number is two limit is three and it is skipping three products mean from starting it is not showing us three products okay so now if we need to give some validation here request dot query dot page const number num products number or we can see product count is equal to await product dot count documents okay it will give total number of products i think i have done something wrong it will give total number of products if if skip 
skip is greater than or equal to greater than or equal to this product count then throw throw new error error this space does not exist okay so we are done with our pagination so also pagination so now you can see you are getting two three phase one we are getting apple watch lenovo watch hp watch okay if we do two here then we are getting hp laptop msi laptop lenovo laptop and if we do three here then we are getting apple gf okay if we are doing four then we are getting error this page doesn't exist okay and if we are going to do one and if we are limited to five one two three four five products we are getting so guys video we will cover update password reset password and reset password token using email okay so let's start with user model so <clears throat> in user model we need to add some fields so password change that it should be a date then password reset token it will be a string then password reset expires then date okay so then what we need to do is here we need to check if password is modified then we have to encrypt otherwise if mean if our password is modified then we have to encrypt it again okay if not modified then not need to encrypt okay so this dot is modified modified this dot is modified password okay then next okay so only this you have to do so next thing what we need to do is user schema user schema dot methods dot create password reset token token is equal to async function okay function so here you need what you need to do is you need to create a reset token using crypto so reset token reset token is equal to crypto dot you can import crypto like this okay Once crypto is equal to require crypto, then you have to do crypto dot random bytes thirty two dot two string. Okay, hex. Then this dot password reset token is equal to crypto dot create has s h a two fifty six okay dot update reset token this one okay then dot digest 
x okay so this then this dot we need to set that expire okay date so this this dot password reset expires is equal to date date dot now okay plus okay plus 30 into 60 into 1000 okay so these are 10 minutes 10 minutes okay so what it will return return so it will return reset token okay so next thing what you have to do is so first we do forgot password mean change password functionality mean update password functionality okay so you have to go in controller okay controller so const update password is equal to async handler async request response equal to so we are getting underscore id in user okay in request to user we are getting id so with the help of this id we will update this user so const password password we will get from request to body okay that we need to update for the particular user validate validate mongodb id underscore id we will validate the mongodb id if this id is not correct or not found our this function will give error okay so next what we need to do is so const we need to find the user with the help of this id okay is equal to await user dot find by id and pass this id from here okay in user you will get the user if password if we get the password in body then user dot password is equal to password okay so next thing what we need to do we need to update the password and save it okay const updated password is equal to await user dot save okay Wait user dot save then response dot json updated password okay else response dot json we will return user so export it update password here import it update password and then here you have to create a route router dot router dot <coughs> router dot put because slash password password then update password and here we need to pass one more thing auth middleware because with the help of auth middleware we are getting request dot user okay and from request dot user we are getting this id okay without this id we can't find the user okay so next thing what we have to do is we have created our route so let's check it once so i have also created my 
request so it's okay yeah body let's log in first oh i think my server is not running terminal npm run server okay oh i got the error module dot email control One minute guys now I am able to control shift a okay so I think our server is so npm run server so our server is running so login so you got the token okay now go to change password authorization update the password okay so body it's one two three send yeah our password is updated so if we go here and if we try to log in Invalid credentials. Okay. For good password. Mono D zero two three two. Okay. Mono D zero two three two. Mono D zero two three two. Why I am not able to log in? Oh. <sighs> password refresh token password okay let's check with all credentials okay it means our password is not updated okay auth password user slash password so what we are doing wrong so, so let's check it once mm. underscore id is equal to request to user password we are getting from request body okay this is the mistake we are doing so Let's log in again. Copy, then change password. Authorization, Control A, Control V. Message user validation field password cast string. Oh, oh. Today, 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 cast to okay. Dot body validate mongodb id okay const user is going to await user dot find by id if password user dot password is going to password to wait user dot sign response dot json okay password control a control v okay cost to string field to value password a b c one two three password so let's first check what we are getting in control 
shift a log request dot body now send the request Okay, we are getting password. Okay. Password. So I think we are doing some mistake somewhere. Request dot body. Oh. It. okay our password is i think updated so let's try without credentials and let's do yeah we are able to log in so next thing we will do is email integration okay so for that we need node mailer npm i node mailer okay so you have to go here mm -mm. not mailer so open this link okay you have to run this command to install node mailer okay then you have to go I mean follow this thing okay so let's create one file mm -mm. in controller email js email controller.js okay so const node mailer is equal to require node mailer okay so second thing we need is async handler async handler is equal to require require express async handler okay then we need then we need nothing so <clears throat> send email send email is equal to async handler then async okay so i am taking data is equal to data request response with the help of this data we will fetch our like dynamic data okay mean what we have to pass from like to subject text html whatever we want to send now so and one thing you have to keep in mind you have to pass this data before request okay if you pass this data after this response now it will not work so let's continue and module dot exports is equal to send email okay so copy from here to here then paste it okay so i am going to smtp dot use smtp dot gmail dot com okay so i have you have to enter your gmail id so i stored my gmail id in my dot env file process dot env dot env dot mail underscore id okay and same my password is stored in this password is not your gmail id password okay this password we need to store with some other source that i will tell you process dot env dot mail oh it's mp okay so hey and here it will come gmail.com okay whatever it is so we can type abc okay then here we need to pass data dot to then data dot subject data dot subject okay then we have data dot text okay then here you need to pass data dot htm this object we will create where 
we will do the min for code password min any mail functionality we will implement na implement na so whatever data we need to pass we will pass with the help of this okay argument so let's start so first of all i will tell you how to mm, mm, how to generate the password so you have to search google app password okay so sign in like you have to follow this app password okay rest rest i will tell you with the help of a ppt so you have to follow this some youtube violation this video is deleted three times okay so that's why i'm not able to show you the complete so from here you will get your 12 digit password okay so which you can pass through here okay or you can um, you can initialize in your dot env and you can access here okay so next thing what you need to do is let go to user control okay user control then we will generate our token so let's generate our token const for code password token okay for code password token is equal to async handler async request comma response okay and export it for code password token okay and here you need to import it for code password token then what you need to do is in your auth route you need to create one more um, here router dot post router dot post slash for code password token for good password token okay and then for good password for good password token so let's create our token functionality mean generate token functionality <coughs> so for mean to generate token we need email okay so email that email we got from request dot body from request dot body we will go to the email okay with the help of that email you need to find the user so await user dot find user dot find one find one what email with the help of email it will find the user then if we not found the user then we need to throw new error throw throw new error error so user not found or user not found with this email okay so if we found the user then try catch error then response okay throw new error throw new error what error okay so then we need to create the token okay so how we will create the token so is equal to await so if you remember just before some time we have create this method okay with the help of this method we will create our token okay this method will return our reset token so await user this user okay dot create 
password reset reset token okay so it will return your token okay so await user dot save so see why we have done user dot save here okay we are setting this dot password reset token now and we are setting our reset expiry date so that's why we are doing I mean after generating the after generating token we are saving our user okay so let's create our reset url reset url is equal to hi take template screens hi please follow this link to reset your password password okay so this link is valid till 10 minutes okay from now okay then a slash a so click here here so here we have to pass our forgot password route so href is equal to http localhost http localhost oh i forgot to localhost Five thousand slash API slash user slash user slash. Mm, we will create reset that password reset this password slash. What you need to pass? You need to pass the token. Okay. So our URL is ready localhost 500 API slash user reset password okay so we need to create that data object that I told you before with the help of this data okay so let's create so cons data is equal to object okay two so we need to send this email okay then we have subject subject is forgot password link okay then if we have stm okay here you need to send the reset url okay whatever bar data to subject text okay and text we will send hey user I think it's enough okay so we need to import send email okay and we need to pass the data from here so response dot json it will give you a token token okay so for good password token okay so throughout let's check this once so i have already created the request so if we send we are getting our token okay 
and if you check then gmail uh oh oh okay see we got the mail okay and if you go here we are getting our this okay so now what you have to do is you have to create one more route okay one more functionality which will reset your password so const reset password password is equal to async handler async request response okay so oh, we need password from request dot body request dot body okay we need token which we will get from request dot params okay this token we will get from request dot params okay and then we need to has the token okay has token has token is equal to crypto crypto okay const crypto is equal to require crypto okay so crypto dot create has sha256 okay dot update what it will update it will update token dot digest hex okay so with the help of this token we will find our user okay so user because if you see we are saving our this dot password reset token okay mm -hmm. where is your throat okay yeah oh this okay so if you can if you remember so we have saved our user dot save okay our password reset token okay with this with the help of this reset token we will find our user so const user is equal to await await user dot user dot find one user dot find one find one but password reset token has token okay and then password reset token expires if dollar gte greater than okay date date dot now okay so mm -mm. this token we are mean whatever token we are creating now so it is valid for 10 minutes okay so here we are matching mm, here we are matching okay our details okay with the help of that it will find our user user throw new error but this error is token expired expired please try again again later okay so oh now what 
you need to do is user dot password is equal to password we need to save our user now so user dot password we need to initialize this okay then user dot password reset text token we need to set as undefined and same we need to do with user dot password reset token expires is equal to both are undefined okay because our password is changed okay so we didn't don't need it so, okay what is my oh. okay then await user dot save okay and it will return our response dot json user okay export it reset password so go to routes copy this route and type here reset reset password so it will be reset as password slash token okay so let's try it once where is reset password reset password change password yeah so okay do one thing go to full code password crypto has already been declared okay where i declared it crypto 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 oh sorry it's already declared so check our mail this is our mail so click here now copy this okay then go here put okay hold throughout router dot this request we need to make it put okay so date dot now is not a function date dot now date dot now where is date dot now date dot now okay date dot now okay so our password is updated now so our password is so let's try with this one okay and if we try with n one two three four five yeah our password is changed okay so i will tell you one more extension if code crap you can install okay with the help of this extension now you will get like this if you type node mailer then you will get answers like this okay first of all i want to tell you one thing so from here you can create your new environments okay like if you pass base underscore url okay then here you have to pass http slash slash localhost localhost 5000 slash api slash okay like this you can set your environments okay 
so i have already created one environment so now go to like this okay so then what you have to do is you have to go here and select your new environment okay then you have to pass it like this mean double curly braces and then base underscore url if you check this value is okay so let's start with our blog model blog model dot js so for blog model i need a sample model so let's convert it to blogs me schema blog okay and here blog so instead of title blog instead of title i mean instead of name i need title okay then i need description category then we have number of views its type will be number and default it will be zero then we will also create like and dislike functionality so is like type boolean and default it will be false then is disliked then type will be boolean and default it will be default it will be false okay so we need to store our liked one users so its type will be mongoose mongoose dot schema dot types dot object id so reference is user okay so same we need to do it for dislikes so dislikes okay and we have okay likes dislikes is like dislike number of views category description then one thing we need is image its type will be string okay and default it will be default it will be what so let's find one okay blog images open this image copy image address okay and paste it like this so one more thing we need is author so author type will be string and default it will be <coughs> admin okay so here you have to pass to json virtuals true to object virtuals 
true and then here we need to pass timestamps true okay so blog blog schema so our blog model is ready then we need to connect this model to controller so let's create a blog controller blog ctrl.js so const blog is equal to require require dot dot slash model slash block model i think tomorrow i forgot to push the code okay updates So we need to validate Mongo DBID. Validate. Okay. Today also I'm not able to get. Okay, let's get our user. So const user is equal to <coughs> require. model slash user model because we are going to create our like dislike functionality now or i think we can get our user with the help of request out user with the help of auth middleware now so let's see at the time of creating we will check so one thing more i need is async handler async handler is equal to require express async handler okay so okay <laughs> validate why i'm not getting const I don't know why I'm not getting the session. Mm, go to product control, copy this. Okay. So next what we need to do is const create blob is equal to async handler async request response so export it module dot exports is equal to create blog okay so let's connect it with our routes so blog routes route.js so here we need I think const express is equal to require express then we need const router is equal to express dot router okay and then we need to module dot <coughs> exports is equal to router and then let's connect it with our index.js file so it's api slash blog and it will be blog route blog router copy this Route slash blog route and it will be blog route okay blog router so next thing what we need to do is let's create our new blog creation functionality <coughs> try catch error 
then throw new error and pass the error here so const new block is equal to await block dot create create what request dot body and response dot json so i am going to status success and then we have new new blog okay so let's try once let me create a folder blog add a request create a blog it's it will be post route i think i have not created this route router dot post <laughs> slash so only admin can create this block okay so is admin admin then we need create block okay let's try once so we need base url blog slash so go to body row json we need title title is my blog one then we need category <coughs> and then our category is id category okay then we have what description my blog description so let's try to create okay there is no token so we need to login first so copy this then go to this request authorization mirror send okay so guys you can see our new blog is ready okay so next thing what we can do is i think i need to remove this let's remove this okay let's create one more blog it's two my blog description two and it it is from food category three three this from travel so four four okay so next thing what we will do is we will do update blog functionality so <clears throat> update block here we need to write update update block for update block we need the id that we will got from params request dot params okay so it's block dot find by id in update and then here we need to pass the id request dot body and then new true okay id request dot body <coughs> yeah so export it update block go to blog route copy only admin can update the blog so update block 
and it will be a put request because we are updating our data so we need to pass the id okay so let's try let's create a new request request is put update block okay base url block slash we need to so control c control b so go to body okay let's copy this i think it's block travel for go to body row json okay so i am doing is my updated blog for and it's my updated blog description for created blog description for let's send the request there is no token attached so authorization control c bearer token send okay so our blog is updated i think we can <coughs> Add authorization also here. New environment. Okay. Delete. Okay, we will see it later. So now go to collections. Okay, our update blog functionality is done. So let's move to fetch a blog or we can say get blog okay get get <clears throat> so find one or we can simply do find by id remove this thing okay so here what we need to do is Give me a minute guys. Okay. Fetch by ID. Okay, here we need to <coughs> here we need to update the numweave also. So await blog dot blog dot dot find by id find by id and update so we need to pass our id okay then we need to dollar ink we need to increment what num views to one okay and then new new will be true okay await block dot find by id and okay so that's it for okay so if you create new request it's get request okay let's export it first get blog now go to route to cv so there we don't have any restrictions okay it will be a get request get okay copy this control a control c control v get a blog So we are getting our blog and if we again get our blog we are not able to increment the let's check in DB refresh blogs it's my blog for okay it's 637 a 4 637 a 4 
six three seven eight four okay two five six six yeah this is the last one okay number of views number of views are not increasing <coughs> okay wait post find by block find by id and update id then increment number of views one const update views is equal to okay Okay, we are getting nothing. Update views blog dot find by ID and update. Okay. Ho oh, oh. ho. Let's try once again. Dollar. Increment. What? Dollar increment what? Post Okay. It is not updating. Oh, sorry guys, it's my mistake. I hadn't exported. I mean here, I hadn't changed. What I'm changing? It's get block. Get block. Block control, okay. Yeah. Our number of views are increasing. Okay. So next what we need to do is get blog. So const get all blogs. <coughs> Response. So try or copy from here. Okay, so 
it will be get blocks so I don't need it it's fine okay get blocks sync handler now get all blocks get all Okay, let's create a new request and get all blocks base URL block slash block slash okay so we are getting our all the blocks so now we will do delete functionality so copy this and paste it delete block so find by id and delete okay we don't need this and then here we will get deleted block so create a new request it will be a put request i think i am to export it lead block block okay go to block route so router dot delete slash id only admin can delete the block with middleware is admin then we have delete block so it's delete request delete a uh, block okay base url blocks slash this block we are going to delete there is no token okay control a control c Digestion beer. Okay, and send it. So this blog is deleted. Okay. Okay. So now we will do liked and disliked functionality. So const const like blog is equal to async handler async request response okay so so two things we need for this so first thing we need the post id which will which we will get from request dot body we need to send the post id to request dot body okay from there we will get our post id so with the help of post id sorry you can write blog id okay with the help of that blog id what you need to do you need to find what you need to find the blog find by id okay, find by id and pass the block id here if you want to validate the mongodb id then pass it here validate mongodb id same you have to do here validate mongodb <laughs> id Okay, validate MongoDB ID ID okay so with the help of blog ID we will find the post okay then what we need to find is const login user ID login user ID guys tell me from where we will get this ID 
only login user can like and dislike the blog so how we will get if the user is logged in or not so with the help of auth middleware we will get our logged in user so request dot user request dot user dot user underscore id okay so then we need to check const is liked okay post post dot oh. i don't know why post is getting out again and again from my mouth so const is liked is equal to what this blog with the help of this blog we will get dot dot is liked okay so if disliked so okay let's make comments find the blog which you want to which you want to be liked okay then find the login user login user then we need to find if the user has like the post then there is one more <coughs> option is find the user if he dislike the post find if the user has disliked the post blog okay so const is like we are getting if okay sorry oh, mm, is disliked okay const <coughs> already disliked already disliked so already disliked we will get from <coughs> blog dot dislikes dot find <coughs> find user id is equal to user id dot to string to string we need to match if the user present in dislike array so login user id dot to string okay so if already disliked then what do you need to do const post is equal to blog is equal to await blog dot find by id and update so id is blog id okay then we need to pull pull what dislikes may say from dislikes we need to pull login user id okay
login user id and then is disliked false okay so let me explain so what we are doing is we are checking okay with the help of blog id we are finding the post with the request dot user id we are getting our login user id okay and we are checking if the post is already liked okay so and here we are checking if already disliked okay so first of all we are taking the case of already disliked okay if someone liked the post okay and it's already disliked so what we need to do is first of all we need to remove that id mean user id from that dislikes array and then if someone dislike the post then it's disliked would will be true okay so we need to make it false okay so let's continue new will be true okay so same we need to do for if is liked if is liked will be true then what we need to do okay response dot json block so copy it and paste it here so if is liked okay so we need to pull the login user id from likes and we need to make is liked false okay like if someone already liked the post okay then if i click again on the like button so what will happen it will remove your liked okay so we need to remove the user id from like array and we need to is like we need to make is liked false and then we need to else we need to do is so copy it again so dollar push push where likes okay what login user id and here is liked will be true so let's export this is liked liked so go to our routes router dot put slash likes so is okay sorry auth middleware is admin okay and then like like oh, i want to export okay like like blog like blog like blog so let's try it once create a new request add request request will be put like a blog okay so base url blog slash likes so with the help of i body <coughs> we need to send the post id and then post id we will get from get all blogs so i am taking the first one copy this id paste it here save it okay there is no token 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 control c authorization bearer okay so let's send the request this id is not valid or not found okay block controller okay so let's first check it block id find by id
okay validate one going to be id Why it is giving this ID is not valid? Give me a minute, guys. Okay. So post ID. Mm -mm 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 -mm. request to user okay so let's log our blog id first blog id make the request go to terminal okay Why it is printing every time user? Oh, weird. So send the request again. Okay. Go here, blog route. Blog controller const blog id request dot body. Okay. getting the ID body its row JSON what's the problem POST ID shit I don't know why I am writing again and again post 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 I'm going mad blog hmm blog ID blog ID blog 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 ID okay Log blog ID. Still, we are not getting blog ID. My request dot body. It's like blog likes request is put okay auth middleware is admin like blog is admin oh sorry guys but still it's not working getting the router dot put blow controller validate mongodb id 
why you are creating problem if I remove this okay I think we need to rerun our server run server let's put some other ID man what's the problem user id but i'm not validating my id now like blog like blog i think i have done something wrong Blog route router dot put slash likes auth middleware like blog then it's blog slash likes what's the problem I'm not checking MongoDB ID and then still it is giving error like the blog like the blog like the blog ok we do it here now it is giving error like the blog is not defined like the blog okay oh my god where it is going slash likes router dot put auth middleware like the blog Okay, let's remove all the code first. Okay, and then check log request dot body and then like the blog, get a blog, update a blog. why it is giving error blog control dot js 17 17 i think it is taking this one so control x if we try now yeah this is the problem guys Chat. Now validate MongoDB ID blog ID. Okay, so let's try. User ID is not defined. Hey God, user ID. Mm -hmm. user id is not defined ok sorry it should be like this yeah so we are getting is like true is disliked false if we click if we send the request again then 
is disliked will be false is liked will be and this one is removed from likes okay so let's continue with dislike functionality copy the whole code control c and control v and then dislike the blog export it dislike the blog okay so here what you need to do is first of all we are getting validate we are finding the post we are getting the login user id so here we need to check is disliked is dot is disliked so it's already liked okay we need to find from likes okay then it will be already liked okay then what we need to do is we need to pull the id from likes and is liked will be is liked will be false okay then if is disliked control c control v then we need to pull if disliked then we need to pull dislikes user id is is disliked is disliked mm, go to model is disliked is disliked will be false okay then push dislikes okay and is disliked will be true blog model is disliked l will be small it is liked is dislike true push dislikes okay and pull dislikes is dislike false okay and pull likes is liked false okay so let's create our route so control c v dislike the blog so dislikes so create a new request add request request will be put dislike the blog dislike the blog so base url blog slash dislikes dislikes so with the from the body we need to json control c control v and we need token control c trijation bearer control a control v okay now send so, okay so it is adding from adding in new dislikes okay and then it is removing okay now i disliked okay if i like that now why it is not working yeah like false okay it's working so next what we need to do is okay Mm -mm. now go to go to go to block control update block get block so 
we need to populate our user like okay fine by id if you write dot populate what we need to populate is likes likes okay and if we try to fetch a blog let's first get all blogs okay so let's see where i have added like let's like it it's my blog too copy this id control c get a blog control v okay so like this we will get oh i think there is something wrong don't populate likes fine i think i have done something wrong why we are not getting the user details populate populate likes okay go to route route controller populate dislikes I think there is some problem. Oh, wait, post, post, post. It's get get up log. Get block. Response dot JSON. Oh, sorry guys. I am showing here updated views okay so if we populate it so we will get it something like this we will get our user details here okay so we will cover category and brand model okay so let's create category model okay category model.js okay so let's generate one model mdb okay mm -mm. so it will be category Degree model. Okay. Category. Mm, we don't know, need all of this. So here we need only title. Okay. Give me a minute, guys. Yes, good. So here we need title only, title, okay, index true, unique true, okay, and we need timestamps, timestamps, true, okay, so let's connect it with controller. category ctrl dot js so const category is equal to require dot 
auto dot slash model slash category model okay and then we need validate I still I'm not getting const async handler handler is equal to require express async handler okay then go to product controller copy this okay so module dot exports to blank const create category is equal to async handler async request response okay so try and then catch error then throw new error error okay so const new category is equal to await new await category dot create create request dot body request dot body and response dot json json will be new category so create category let's create route category route dot js okay so here we need express const express is equal to require express and we need router const router is equal to express dot router okay so module dot exports is equal to router let's connect it with index dot js api slash category and then copy this slash category out category okay and pass it from here category route okay so we are done with our new category creation functionality category route code category route router dot post slash create category okay so let's add new folder category so add request add category category base url slash category slash okay so only admin can add category is admin so first we need to login i think i need to start the server npm run server require require okay so go to body first we need to login so login so, okay control c it will be a post route transition bearer okay now not found api slash category okay 
API slash slash okay sorry so go to body row JSON so title watch Agree dot create okay so this create route is done I think we need to create two categories one is for blog and second one is for so product rename it rename it's broad category model okay then we have rename broad category control okay and then rename broad category route okay let's check it once yeah it's automatically update your imports and exports okay so it's it will be broad category p category so let's refresh go to digitic p categories okay delete it categories collection now send the request okay so it is done so next thing what we will do what we need to do is we need to update the category so update category so to update the category we need to find by id and update so we need id which we will get from params const id is equal to request dot params request dot body and then new true okay category and then pass it updated category go to product category route control C control V this request will be put and here we need the ID and its update category okay so let's create one more request for save this one and close it we don't need it anymore go to add category authorization copy the token authorization bear token ok so base url category category slash Let's 
broad category okay so save this it will be update category okay then we need to create okay let's do delete category delete
फिर राउटर वी इट विल बी गेट ऑल कैटेगरी ओके सो नाउ क्रिएट न्यू रिक्वेस्ट एड रिक्वेस्ट गेट ऑल कैटेगरी पेस यूर एल कैटेगरी so we are getting our category tv if we add more save it first then watch then get all so we are getting two categories okay so our category part is done so now next thing what we will do is get blog get ctrl ctrl dot js okay go here control c and control v then go to model then blog get model dot js so control a control c blog get and model okay then we need to copy get route dot js okay control a block get route control v okay let's so api is less block category okay now go to let's start with model controller model okay so it's blog category blog category same schema it will be blog category schema i think it will not change so it will be p category okay i think that's it for here so now we need to go here Slash block get model okay. I think here we don't need to make any changes. Now go to routes, routes, routes. Block get routes. I think here also we don't need to make any change. Or we need to change this one. Controller slash block get control. Okay, let's try to add a folder. Oh, sorry, delete. Save. Save. Do one thing. Duplicate it. Rename. js category router so copy this control cv it will be blog category router and route slash blog get route okay blog category router okay so if you try control c so first we are okay send yeah we are able to add now so watch watch to and if you check here refresh okay refresh the whole now p category watch and watch to okay so copy this id then we need to pass it here body row mirror body 
Jason C Troll V Woz 3 Oh why this null Oh sorry this request is Posh sorry 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 put This is post put update category title was 3 Why it is giving null Refresh Okay B category here okay so same thing we will do for Brian so let's create brand model dot chase brand controller dot chase then we have brand use 
slash api slash print comma control c control v it's route slash print route slash print route okay and change it to brand router here you need to pass print router okay i think i got side i have done some block category router block category router sorry guys here i need to brand router okay so same we need to do is duplicate rename brand okay so rename all and brand rename okay so go to brand change it to brand okay so brand is apple send okay our brand is added so add one more Lenovo Lenovo second brand is also added added now go to update it will be brand slash id JSON control C update and V so it's updated Lenovo okay so it will be updated Lenovo if you go to brands refresh it's updated Lenovo okay so next thing you need to do is first of all I'm doing a control C get brand we are getting our single brand okay and then brand we are getting all the brands okay now we will delete so this brand is deleted okay we'll cover our wishlist functionality okay so let's create a function const add to wishlist is equal to async handler async request response okay request response then to add the product in wishlist we need two things underscore id which we will get from request.user okay so we need to pass auth middleware from this route okay so request dot user okay then one thing we need is product id prod id i am taking okay which we will get from request dot body okay so now create our structure try catch error throw new error error okay so first then what we need to do we need to find the user okay which user which is login logged in 
so user dot find by id let's check if user yeah you need to import this user okay so user dot find by id underscore id okay so from here we will get our user so we need to check if the product is already added or not so const already added is equal to user dot user dot wishlist from where we need to find user dot um, one thing i will show you here is our wishlist oh sorry it's in user model okay so yeah from here we need to check if you the product we want to add in wishlist it is already available or not so user dot wishlist dot find find okay then id is equal to id dot to string to string okay is equal to is equal to which id prod id okay so now next thing what we need to do is if already added if the product we want to add in our wishlist if it is already added okay else so let's already added let user is equal to await if already added then what we need to do is we need to remove it from our wishlist user dot find by find by id and find by id and delete or we can sorry delete no update update find by id and update update what underscore id okay then dollar pull wish list what we need to remove we need to remove product id prod prod id so we will find the user okay and then we will pull our product id from wish list okay and then new true okay so okay then response dot json user okay otherwise what you need to do is you need to push push okay mm -hmm. catch new error okay let's export this add to wish list add to wish list function okay and product route create one route router dot put slash wish list okay then we need auth middleware to get our user from our request okay and second thing we need is add to add to wish list so let's try once product product so i have already i have already created this request so put to and list let get all products first okay i think i need to run our server so npm run server okay so get all the products 
so we are getting our products mm, let put one product so I am taking this MSI laptop okay control C and pass this product ID here and if you send the request okay cannot read properties of undefined find product control product control user dot wish list user dot wish list use oh sorry guys wait I forgot to add wait a bit okay let's try again oh you can see 87 b a 874 this id is added to the last and if you send the request again it will remove that product id from our wish list okay and if we send the request again then it will add okay and if we take this id and try to add or mean remove then it is working fine okay control v our wishlist functionality is working properly okay and get all products add product add add to wishlist and if we pass it here then it will add the new product to the wishlist this is product rating functionality so let's start so first we need to make some changes in our product model so what changes are there total ratings okay and its type will be string string and default it will be zero okay now go to product control create one more const rating is equal to async handler async request comma response okay now export it rating so now go to product route okay copy this one so make it rating okay and pass it to here rating okay rating okay now go to product controller okay to create this functionality we need three things we need the logged in user which we will get from request dot user okay then we need stars I mean how I mean how much star a user want to give it to the product and we need the product id to which product user want to give the rating so that we will go from request dot body okay so with the help of product id we need to find the product const product is equal to product is equal to await product dot find by find by id which we will get from product id with the help of product id so what we need to do is we need to find if the product is already added already rated by the user or not so let already rated is equal to already okay sorry product dot ratings dot find 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 what it will give user id 
okay so user id dot user id dot in user id what we will get is user id we will go to star and post it by we need to find post it by user id dot post it by in post it id what we will get id so we need to convert it to string okay is equal to is equal to underscore id dot to string okay so it will return like if the product is already rated by the user okay then what we need to do is if already rated okay else okay so first of all let's wrap in try try and catch try catch error so throw new error error okay paste it here so if already rated so first of all i'm going the fresh rating functionality so const rate product is equal to await product dot product dot find by id and update with the help of product id we will find the product okay then what we need to do is we need to dollar dollar push we need to push the star and post it by to the ratings array okay push ratings in ratings what star and star the star we will get from request dot body and posted by posted by is request dot or we can simply type underscore id okay so this is done for you and new it will be true okay so now rated product okay response dot json rate product okay and now what we need to do is first we need to find the rated product so for that what we need to do is so const update update rating is equal to await product dot product dot update one update one what so we need to match ratings dollar there is one functionality dollar ally match it will match our what already rated okay with the help of this we will find our product rating okay then what we need to do is dollar set we need to set the rating set ratings okay ratings dot dollar dot star and here we need to update the star okay and then i think there is some problem okay it will not come here it will come here okay and then comma new true okay so update rating so response dot json response dot json what it will return update rating okay so let's create one request so okay mm, get all products let me find the product 
okay I am taking this one so control C and then go to rating so this is the put request here we need to pass the product ID so there is no rating okay so it will return like this if you update it for it will update okay and if you check in DB refresh what is the product ID is A87C so let's find A87C okay here it is so now it is 4 and if we make it 3 then it will update it again so let's check refresh and rating okay it is giving 3 so now what next we need to do is we need to create our total rating functionality so for that what we need to do is const get all ratings get all ratings okay is equal to await product dot find by id product dot find by id product id okay so next what we need to do is we need to find the total ratings mean total number of ratings okay total rating is equal to get all ratings get all ratings dot ratings dot length it will like give you our like total number of ratings okay so what we need to do is let we need what we need to do is we need to sum all the ratings okay so let sum or we can say rating sum rating sum is equal to get all ratings dot ratings ratings dot map we need to map the ratings okay in map what we will get is item item dot star okay item dot star and then reduce this map function will give you a array okay and then with the help of reduce we will find the sum of that array okay so reduce dot reduce preview previous and current okay and then it will okay reduce previous current okay current okay preview plus current previous plus current comma zero okay so it will give you the sum of the rating okay then what we need to do is let actual rating actual rating is equal to math dot round math dot round what math dot round rating sum divide by total rating okay so then what we need to do is we need to update it into total ratings here we need to update this one so then await await product product dot find by find by id and update find by id i think i have done something wrong await product dot find by id and update prod id so what we need to update is total rating total rating 
this okay r is small total rating total rating this okay sorry 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 actual rating we need to pass actual rating okay and new it will be true okay new it will be true and then remove this and remove this here we need to do is response dot json is our mm -mm. get all the ratings we can do okay oh, wait or simply we can do is let product let Final is product is equal to final product. Okay, so let's try this once. Okay, send reference previous current is undefined. Okay, oh, so previous plus. So send the request again. So see here we are getting our total rating okay now it's only one so that's why we are getting one okay now let's get all the users okay i think there is only one user so let's create a user register a user okay name deep yeah and id is okay and mobile number is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero okay okay let's create our user okay so control c login Control V and password is mono one six seven six. So mono one six seven six. Okay, send the request. You will get the token. Okay, now go to rating. Change the token here. Okay, so in body, I am going to make it four. So send the request. Okay. Here we you will get two ratings. Okay, it's three four. And if we okay, I think we need to make many users. Okay, register a user. It's now the the one. Okay. So this is our new user. So log in with that one okay copy the token control c and product i am going to give it one okay so here we are getting two total rating is two i think it why it is updated three one i have rated two times now three one three plus one is equal to four total rating is Four and it will be divided by two then it will be two okay let's look in user the they have one okay let's copy the token again rating body now rating is five Three five. Okay. Now deep the here and now deep the here one is same. 
okay let's find the users how many users are created here refresh six e b six c nine a c a f now go to products refresh eight seven four eight seven eight it's eight seven c rating array c nine a and we have e b six c nine a and e b six so we have c nine a and e b six okay if we go with this control c and login okay login login now it's c a f control c yeah c a f now go to product rating authorization and same yeah now we are getting three ratings okay so 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 and then 13 and 13 is divided by 3 okay so it will give you the round value and total rating is 4 so how we can make comments on our product so simply what you need to do is you need to add one more thing here comment this type will be string okay oh shit, shit, shit. okay sorry and its type will be string then what you need to do is you need to go here copy this wall okay control V and make it comment okay comment and then what we need to pass is comment okay and that we will which we will get from request.body and same you need to do here is comment okay so let's try once so I tried before making this video so like I am updating hey my new product hey my new product is ocean so send so you guys can see hey my new product is awesome because okay so if we go with another user then login it's not good there yeah. send copy the token copy the token okay then go to rating and pass it okay beer body hey nice product product recommended okay so if we make comment then you guys can see we are getting comments also okay create our coupon model then we will create our functionalities okay so let's start <coughs> coupon model dot js model dot js let's generate our dummy model okay so make it here coupon coupon okay and same here you need to do is c o u p o n coupon okay so we need coupon name okay then we need expiry expiry till when that coupon is valid then date okay oh sorry date 
and then we need <coughs> sorry guys discount discount okay and discount type will be number number okay so we have expiry discount and name so okay require true unique true one more thing we will add is uppercase true okay so now connect the, connect this model to our controller let's create one file open ctrl.js okay import that coupon model open is equal to require <coughs> dot dot slash model slash coupon model okay then what we need is we need validate mongodb id validation so go to brand controller copy this okay then we need async handler const async handler is equal to require express async handler okay and okay yeah that's it so module dot exports is equal to blank so const create coupon 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 is equal to async handler async request response okay and then let's create our structure catch <coughs> error throw new error what error so next thing what we need to do is so const new coupon is equal to await coupon dot create <coughs> from where we will get our data is request dot body and it will give response dot json new new coupon okay export it create coupon now create one route it's c o u coupon route dot js okay then what we need to do is we need to const express is equal to require express and then we need to create router const const router is equal to express dot router and call it <laughs> then module dot exports is equal to router and then first request is our post request router dot post slash okay and then create 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 coupon okay so now go to index.js copy this api slash <coughs> coupon okay and here what you need to do is control c route slash coupon route route slash 
open route C O U P O N. Okay. <coughs> then what you need to do is pass it from here. Open route. <coughs> okay. So let's start our server. npm run server. Okay, it is giving an error, unhandled error event. No events throw error. Okay, open control new error. Where it is giving error? Address already in use. Product model. Okay. So let's try to make a request let's create a folder add folder coupon okay. coupon okay so now add request request will be post <laughs> create coupon coupon okay then base URL coupon slash okay now go to body okay one more thing we need to do is we need to pass here go to route we need auth middleware and is is admin because only admin can create coupons okay so First of all, what we need to do is we need to log in first. Okay, I think this is not an admin. Digitech users. It's Mono D two three two. I think I forgot the password. <coughs> mm -hmm. What happened? I think there is some problem <laughs> npm clear npm run server okay invalid credentials so i think my password is a b c one two three four oh oh five yeah it's a b c one two three four five okay now copy go authorization b error okay and send the request path discount is required oh we haven't entered anything in our body so first thing is name what what name we can give mm. okay holy then discount Okay, sorry expiry <laughs> expiry hmm. type date expiry till 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 okay I need a date keys ok 
okay then I need hmm, discount discount okay then discount type will be number so it's 30 percent so if we send the request okay our holy name I mean holy name coupon is done created so we can type like holy one two three okay and discount is 40 percent so like this we can create our coupons okay so let's move forward mm -mm. coupon route coupon control so copy this okay and this will be get all coupon coupons dot find okay and then here coupons coupons okay and then get all coupons and go to coupon route <coughs> request will be get okay and slash auth where is admin okay is admin okay only admin can see the coupons or we can okay so what we need to do is get all coupons okay create coupon so change it get all coupons i think there is some problem event on server address already in use okay address already okay wait give me a second guys mm. Let's change the route. I mean, sorry. Index to JS. Six thousand. Okay. So go to Postman. Environment. okay now what you need to do is create a request first save it okay then create a request add request base url coupon slash okay and send okay note from c o p o okay there is no token okay okay so we are getting all our coupons and then next what we need to do is hmm, okay, go to coupon the coupon control okay we need to create update controller it's update coupon okay and then what we need is const id is equal to request dot params params and const find by id and update so id and one more thing we need to do is validate mongodb id id 
Oke. Okay. Oh no, what's the problem here? Address already in use. I think there is some problem in with my system. Okay. Let's check it later. So find by ID and update. Request dot body. Request dot body. New true. New true. Okay. And then update. Update coupon. Update coupon. Okay. And here we will pass update coupon and let's create a route okay so router will <laughs> router dot put id okay router dot put id then auth middleware okay is admin update coupon update coupon okay and then what second thing we will do is delete delete okay go to coupon controller copy paste and make it delete okay and delete coupon go to coupon route delete delete coupon okay and then coupon controller okay find by id and find by id and delete this all thing i don't need okay so let me start my okay it's running now okay create a request add request request will be put base url coupon slash now go here okay get all get all coupons okay and here request will be put Update coupon okay now what you need to do is <coughs> c-o-u-p-o-n okay now go to here i am taking this it's update coupon okay pass it here body and then row JSON and authorization we need to select bearer token body okay and I want to update name to um, we can say sonic or etc we can so our coupon is updated if you go to go get all the coupons so now it is sonic okay and one more request we need to save this save okay now create one more request add request delete coupon coupon okay so authorization bearer okay then what we need is i am copying this copy and request will be delete and send if you now go to get all the coupons now there is only one coupon okay so that's it for that coupon so next like coupon implement we will do at the time of like when we create our cart now that time we will create more functionality regarding coupon okay there is we will cover how to upload files okay with the help of cloudinary and melter so let's start so first of all i am going to configure our cloudinary so i need to create a file cloudinary dot js in our utils so okay const const 
cloudinary is equal to require cloudinary okay so next thing what you need to do is we need to configure cloudinary dot config 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 okay so for that you need three things cloud name api key and our secret key so for that i am going to show you a ppt so first of all what you need to do is you have to search cloudinary on google okay then you have to follow this link cloudinary image and video tools okay after that you have to sign up okay with the help of google and github or you can do manually also you can sign up okay after sign up you have to like click on developer option then you have to build a new website app or product okay then you have to start config configuring okay after start configuring you have to select node.js and from here you will get up your cloudinary configurations okay so next what you need to do is so cloud underscore name i have already saved my configuration in dot env file okay process dot env dot cloud underscore name name then we have api api underscore key will be process dot env env dot api underscore key then we have api secret secret will be process dot env dot secret underscore key okay so secret underscore key okay so that's it for our cloud inary configuration now what you need to do is you have to create a function cloud inary cloud inary upload img is equal to async 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 so from here you need to pass file to uploads in whatever you file to upload you have to pass from here then it will return return you are new promise okay resolve so resolve cloudinary dot uploader dot dot upload so here you need to pass file to uploads okay then in result result what you will get resolve if resolve then it will give you a url and that url is result dot secure underscore url okay and here one need one more thing you need to pass is resource resource underscore type it will be auto okay so export it module dot exports is equal to cloudinary upload image okay so that's it for our cloudinary configuration so next thing what you need to do is you have to create one middleware so in middles in in middles where so it will be upload images images dot js okay so here we need three things so first one is multer so let me install first so go to terminal let me close all of this so go to terminal so npm i multer then i need sharp 
sharp and cloudy nary okay so melter is used to handle our multi-part form data and sharp is used to like we can modify our images with the like for example like we can change the dimensions okay we can change the image format okay we can change our quality with the help of sharp and cloud binary is a images and video management tool okay so let it be installed const multer is equal to require require multer okay then we have sharp sharp is equal to require require sharp okay and then one more module we need is our path module because we are going to first store our images in our local after that we will upload to the cloud okay then path okay sorry require path okay so second thing what we need to do is we need to set up our multi const upload photo photo is equal to multer okay here three things will come or like storage so i'm going to multer storage then our file filter okay it will be multer filter then limits limits so i'm giving 2 mb okay limit file size 2 mb file size will be 2 mb like 200 okay so let's create our multi storage const multer storage storage is equal to multer dot disk storage there are two type of storage okay so first one is mean so disk storage and memory storage we are going to use disk storage it will store the files in our local okay after that we will upload it to our cloud binary then there are two options destination function okay function in function you need to pass request then file cb cb is nothing just a callback okay then we have destination and file name okay file name so in file name what you need to pass is function function okay in params request request file and cb cb so okay here what you need to do is cb first is null okay then path dot join path dot join path dot join underscore underscore directory name then dot dot slash public slash images images okay and here you need to do is const here you need to create our file name okay so const so first of all i'm going to create a suffix unique suffix is equal to um, date dot now date date dot now plus oh plus dash plus so math math dot round so math dot random math dot random into into okay into one e nine okay so next thing is cb null okay then file dot in file we are we will get our field name like images plus 
dash plus unique suffix okay plus dot jpeg okay so that's it for here so now move to multer filter so const multer multer filter is equal to request file and cb okay if file dot mime types okay mime type dot starts with starts with what image then cb okay cb will be null and null and true otherwise we have to pass a message cb message what message will be unsported unsported file format okay and it will be written false okay it will return false okay so next thing what we need to do is let me export module dot exports is equal to upload photo okay so first of all i am going to make it for um, product resize so after that what we need to do is we need to resize our images product product img resize is equal to what async request response and next so if not request dot files if not request dot files it will return directly next it will pass the request okay then await promise promise dot all so request dot files we will map our files then file okay so here what we will get is await sharp dot sharp in file we will get our path file dot path okay i think there is some problem wait okay map give me a minute map then file it will come like this okay then await sharp what file dot path okay dot resize resize so for now i'm giving 300 into 300 okay dot which format to format to format what jpeg jpeg dot jpeg quality quality is 90 percent okay then dot to file okay to file where public slash images slash okay 
public slash images slash mm, blogs okay sorry we are doing it for products so product slash dollar file dot file name okay file dot file name why it is creating problem give me a minute guys all okay Mm -mm. Wait, I think request dot finds dot map. <coughs> okay. Oh, I got it. I think. Okay. So after that, await. What you need to do is next okay so same thing we need to do it for blocks so okay blog img size and it will be blocks okay so export it product img size and blog img size okay so next thing what we need to do is go to product route product route where is product route okay so router dot put so it will be slash upload slash id here product id will come okay then auth middleware only admin can upload images is admin okay then we have um, uh, 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 upload what the name of that upload photo upload photo okay upload photo dot array we have to pass a array images because we are going to upload multiple images how much 10 okay then product duct image resize okay so let me create one controller 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 so const upload images is equal to async handler then async request response okay and if you log re log request dot files okay export it upload images okay go to product route comma upload images okay so if we try to create okay let me start this server npm npm run server upload images is not defined upload images upload images okay let me save still giving error okay so it is running now go to so here here I have already created one request okay so product slash our route is product route okay upload mm -mm. so slash upload now send the request okay no such file or directory okay 
okay so what you need to do is you have to create one more folder so public slash images slash box okay in images there are two folders second one is products okay 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 models no 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 middlewares images slash blocks images slash products so images. okay so let me create the request again mm -hmm. i think still there is some problem okay blog image resize product control upload images request dot files okay let me check upload slash cancel yeah so here if you will check so we are getting two files okay so next what you need to do is mm -mm. in product controller we need to const id is equal to request dot params okay so this id is for what it's for our product okay so with the help of this we will find our product and up, up, upload our images so validate mongodb id okay then try catch error okay then throw new error error if any there okay then what you need to do is const uploader uploader is equal to what mm -mm. okay path cloudinary cloud cloudinary okay upload now go to go to go to go to okay utils we need this okay so const is equal to require dot dot slash okay dot slash dot slash utils slash cloudinary okay so cloudinary upload image okay here you need to pass path and images images okay so next thing what we need to do is we need to create a blank array const urls is equal to blank array okay then we need to const files is equal to request dot files okay so now we need to make a loop for const file of files so it will give you a const path from files we need to restructure path okay then const new path is equal to await uploader dot this uploader dot uploader dot oh sorry we need to pass uploader to uploader path okay then urls dot push urls dot push what new path okay and then what we need to do is we need to find our product cons find product is equal to await 
product dot find by id find by id and update with the help of id we will find our product then images let me check in our model from which name it is mm -mm, product 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 model where is our model okay so here it is images and type will be array or we can simply take like this okay so next thing what we will do is images mm -mm, images urls dot map map file return it will return file okay and new will be true okay and response dot json will be find product okay let me try to upload send okay must apply cloud underscore name so go to cloudinary cloudinary utils utils cloudinary okay now send the request again one two three okay in url we are getting null why it is null 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 secure okay 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 file to uploads okay let me check here log new path what we are getting in new path terminal okay send the request okay we are getting undefined okay what's the problem images okay go to product route here also images upload photo dot images think, okay mm -mm. let me check what here we are getting in request dot files send the request okay here we are getting request dot files okay now 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 request dot files const files okay oh sorry guys here it will like it should be file so if we send the request again uh, 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 please 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 yeah so you can see this is working okay so now next thing we will do it for blocks so copy this control c go to our block model first create one images it will be a blank array okay images it will be a blank array now go to block 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 controller okay pass it here upload images we need to find the block okay and okay find 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 it will be find blog okay so validating more remove this okay rest everything will be same then export it upload images and we need to include this const so const is equal to require require what dot dot slash utils slash utils slash cloudinary okay okay so now go to blog model we have done blog controller we have done so we have exported now go to product route copy this and now go to blog 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 route blog route okay 
paste it here so it will be upload images okay this will be block img resize okay let me do it again like blog img resize and here comma upload photo dot mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, array like in case in future if we want to upload more mm, for now i'm giving two okay so let block img resize okay let me check our upload images block img resize okay blocks okay one more thing we need to do guys mm, go to product control first okay product control here what you need to do is fs dot unlink fs dot okay why i am not getting session okay const fs is equal to require fs okay then here we need to do fs dot unlink sync mm it will be path okay so same thing we need to do here now go to block block control okay let me check yeah fs is imported so let me let me let me let me delete all the images delete now go to blocks in blocks we oh okay now it is blank so let's create a new request this is for product oh oh terminal upload images is not defined okay product 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 control upload images okay product product route upload images here also upload images okay product control this is also upload images this is exported also let me send the request again oh shit what is the problem upload images in route block route okay block route upload images upload images okay now send the request please work work please 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 okay so here we are getting two files and now it will okay product blogs images slash okay but why it is not deleting these files fs fs dot let me log our file here log log file okay send the request so we are getting file dot destination file dot path Okay, I have given here file dot path. Mm -mm. File dot path. Images slash. Okay. Okay. 
images slash upload slash mm -mm. and it is going to product okay let me let me let me let me go product control product upload where is upload photo upload images and if we will do here fs dot let me import fs module here const fs is equal to require require fs so okay fs dot unlink sync control c and it will be okay i think there is some problem Okay, let me check now. Delete. Send. Yeah. Okay. So now it is not creating our files. No local. Let me check our cloudinary management tool okay so control a delete let me send the request again it is taking so much time so let me refresh it so here we have two files okay and now in our local also we are not storing our images okay and same thing we need to do for where is upload 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 mm -hmm. upload oh where is our middleware cannot find upload I think now it will work okay cannot find module why 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 when I deleted that file okay loader.js product route product route is upload images dot dot slash middleware slash load image let me send the request again oh still 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 it is giving error i 
think I have done something wrong. Products, blocks. Okay. Okay, now, now guys, we are getting our images. Okay. So now go to upload image. Okay, here what you need to do is const fs is equal to require require what fs. Okay, then fs dot unlink unlink sync. Okay, and paste it here. Control C. Control X. Control V then we have this blocks okay and after that our block route okay sorry product product control fs dot only sync we are removing our path okay and then same we need to for block control now go to block control okay so let me blank our this okay delete let me send the request again okay delete it delete it okay this product one is not going why 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 Images slash now go to go to go to go to upload image images slash products file okay if we will check our blog update blog upload slash yeah it is updating and then here it is not coming let me check refresh okay we have three assets now let me delete all now if we send the request for blogs now we have one asset okay and if we are checking blocks there is no image okay so delete send the request it is deleting automatically and if we go for product 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 upload product images created deleted and deleted okay login so thank you okay so our save order save order functionality is pending save address functionality is pending card functionality is pending okay and our coupon applied functionality is pending okay so let's start with our in admin login functionality so let's create first one route mm, go up okay login a user copy this one and comment mm. admin login okay then control V so here what you need to do is login admin okay then here okay this is the same find user okay find user find user then we have find user 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 make it admin okay then same here admin 
so after finding the admin what we need to do is here we need to check if find admin dot role not equal to equal to what admin then throw new error error not authorized 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 okay mm, okay so it will give you an error not authorized okay find admin login okay let's export this so go here admin login admin okay now go to routes control c v so it's admin dash login and here we need to do is admin okay login admin okay now go to here so my admin email is mono d0232 gmail.com so let's try once okay invalid credentials it's one two three four okay still not mono d okay okay it's one two three four five so five okay so it is giving our token otherwise so next thing what we can do is if check it is working properly or not copy this email copy this email now go to admin login and if the email is the user is not admin then it will give you the error not authorized okay so this is for our um, admin login not authorized okay so next what you need to do is um, okay not authorized okay so in user control one more thing is pending reset password forgot password update password where is wishlist wishlist okay handle refresh token product control where we have done wishlist functionality wishlist okay where is our wishlist if we check in routes okay product route oh shit auth middleware product slash wishlist this thing we have done wrong okay that wishlist functionality should come under user okay so what we need to do is we need to shift this functionality to our user so go to product controller product controller now check where is our wishlist functionality okay rating add to wishlist okay so we are getting product id and to this list I did custom to user add to this list okay product request dot user add to this list product slash this list <coughs> product slash wish list okay this is fine for now i think we can do with same also so now go to user control here we will create one more thing so const get wish list get wish list 
is equal to async handler okay async handler then async async request response okay so what we need to do is we need to find the user wish list so const okay let it try catch error then throw new error error okay so then what you need to do is we need to find the user so how we can find the user so const underscore id that id we will get from request dot user okay so with the help of id const we need to find the user const find user dot okay sorry await user dot find by id pass this id from here okay then response dot json find user okay so export this get wish list okay now go to author out so control sorry control cv so auth middleware is admin is not needed okay so wish list okay auth middleware get a user so we need to get it's get wish list so get wish list okay if now we go to auth add a request it will be get get oh what is happening get shit man wish list okay hmm, base url slash okay sorry user slash wish list okay so now what you need to do is authorization we needed okay authorization mm, login with these credentials okay okay let's login with this okay one two three let's login with our this id mono d zero two three at the rate gmail.com okay mono d zero three two so login okay control c now go to get list list add authorization bearer token where is bearer token copy this okay now go to body and send the request this id is not valid or not found okay i think there is some problem router dot get okay copy this and paste it here so send the request reference id is not defined okay api slash user slash wish list go to user control underscore id oh got it underscore id now send the request okay so now what we need to do is we need to populate it dot populate populate what wish list so send the request again so we are getting our wish list like this okay so next thing what we can do is okay our get get wish list functionality is done so next thing what we need to do mm, we need to save the address so let's create save address functionality after this okay update our user so here i'm doing slash slash save user address okay so for that what we need to do is const save address address is equal to async handler async request response then we have next next okay so for that what we need to do is we need to get the 
id from request to user copy this try and catch okay and copy this also if somewhere i forgot to validate mongodb id now you guys will do okay only you have to do let validate mongodb id and you have to pass this id from here if mongodb if any id error it will throw an error so what we need to update is we need to update address and then request dot body dot address okay so address now go to go to go to go to user model where is address type mongoose dot reference address reference address okay we are not going to save multiple addresses here for now we are giving only simple address type type string okay so after that if we will go time then we will do the multiple address functionality also okay request dot body dot address okay underscore id for updated user so now export this so it will be save address okay now go to throughout okay here what you need to do is router 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 where is our okay this one so it's save dash address okay auth middle where is needed save address okay now go to go to go to go to here create one more request save user address okay this request will be put and then user slash save dash address now go to body okay here we need to select bearer token go to body row json okay mm -hmm. address so my address my address okay send the request so our address is updated here okay so next thing what we need to do is okay save address functionality is also done now what we will do is we will create our hmm, order model and cart model okay order model and cart model create new file let's close all this hmm, okay close this one also now go to okay order model dot js okay in this order model what you need to do is we need okay order model oh shit what i have done delete it we need a file order model dot js okay so let's generate our dummy model mdbgu okay so order order okay and it will be order schema order schema okay so in order what we need is mm -mm -mm -mm. let's remove all of this okay so we have products products okay type of array then we have product okay in product we need, need mongoose dot schema dot types dot object id okay and its reference is reference is product okay so next thing what we need is okay count product 
okay yellow we have product sorry guys i ran something wrong product so type will be okay then we have count count will be number okay then color 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 string okay from color i remember one more thing okay let's do it first so then we have payment intent one minute guys ignore okay then we have payment payment intent okay and it will be an object so next thing is order status okay mm, it will be type string okay and default it will be not processed order default not process and enum enum okay here not processed processed okay then cash on cash on delivery then processing then we have dispatched dispatched okay then dispatched if cancelled can sell okay and then we have completed or we can say delivered delivered okay so we have order status and after that we have order buy order buy so its type will be copy this reference is user okay reference is user okay and then time stamps okay so this is our order model okay and same we have to create for our for okay cart model we have also to create cart model dot js okay so let's generate a dummy model mdb gm okay so it will be a card schema card card schema then here it will be okay. card okay card schema so now go to order model hmm. Okay, copy the wall now mm -mm. okay control C control 
control V okay so order by is there product is there count is there color is there okay then price number okay then we need car total cart cart <coughs> total it will be a number okay then order status is not needed so total after discount total after discount will be a number okay total after discount will be a number order by okay okay so our card schema is also done okay order by total after discount card total price color count then we have products okay i think it's done for now if any change is there we will do it later okay so now mm, 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 now go to go to go to okay mm, go to user controller okay so here what we need to do is mm, let's create first mm, 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 mm. Okay, login user control handle refresh token okay let's do it in last okay go let okay const let's create first user card functionality user card user card card okay is equal to async handler async handler then async request response okay and oh sorry i forgot to pass next response next is not needed I think okay yeah so let's export it to user card okay so here what we need to do is user card okay 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 now go to go to go to where is our routes or oh, route so router dot post control cv post it's slash cart okay mm, i think i want to export user cart user cart okay user control so response dot send let's check if it is working hello from cart side cart okay that's it let it be so okay go throughout card okay create one request um, add to card add to card okay request will be post base url user slash card okay go to body row okay body rotation so what we need to do is okay let's send the request first not found api slash user slash card okay let's check slash card oh. okay hello from card we are getting let's start okay, guys thank so for card functionality we need card from body request dot body okay and we need okay 
we need to find our user const email from or we you can use underscore id is equal to request dot user okay and then you need okay let or you can say const user is equal to await user dot find by id find by id underscore id with the help of this we will find our user okay and validate mongodb id underscore id so after that what you need to do is mm, let's wrap it in try catch try catch error error throw new error error of error okay so start with here const user so then what we need to check if user already have cart check if user already have products in cart cart then what you need to do is so const already exist cart is equal to await so we need our product model here so user control c control v product okay <clears throat> model slash product model okay and we need our code cart model also so control c v cart equal model slash cart model okay now go to go to go to last okay so await cart dot cart dot find one find one we will find if order by if this id is present in user dot underscore id if this id in is present in cart order by okay then it will give if already exist already exist cart okay what i have done wrong okay already exist cart then what we need to do so already exist cart already exist cart dot remove okay otherwise what we need to do for okay so cart we need one let products is equal to blank array okay so we are one minute so in request dot cart okay sorry in request dot body dot cart we are getting data something like this okay so we need to calculate our price also okay and we need to combine it in a array after that we can proceed our functionality so for let i is equal to 0 until when it will run so i less than card dot i less than card dot length okay and then i plus plus so here what you need to do is here we need one more object that object object is equal to blank okay so object dot object dot product product is equal to cart i dot underscore id 
ओके देन ऑब्जेक्ट डॉट काउंट काउंट इज इक्वल टू कार्ट आई डॉट काउंट ओके देन ऑब्जेक्ट डॉट कलर ऑब्जेक्ट डॉट कलर विल बी कार्ट आई डॉट कलर ओके सो नाउ वाट वी नीड टू डू इज वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट आवर प्राइस मीन फाइंड द प्राइस सो लेट और यू कैन से लेट प्राइस ओके गेट प्राइस गेट प्राइस प्राइस इज इक्वल टू अवेट प्रोडक्ट डोट फाइंड बाई आई डी फाइंड बाई आई डी कार्ट आई डोट आई डी अंडर स्कोर आई डी ओके इन दिस वी नीड टू सिलेक्ट द फील्ड नेम प्राइस प्राइस एंड डोट एग्जीक्यूट ओके सो आफ्टर दैट वाट यू नीड टू डू इज वी नीड टू स्टोर दिस प्राइस इन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट डॉट प्राइस प्राइस इज इक्वल टू वट गेट प्राइस डॉट प्राइस ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट वी नीड टू डू प्रोडक्ट प्रोडक्ट्स दिस प्रोडक्ट्स डोट पुश पुश वट ऑब्जेक्ट ओके सो आफ्टर दैट वी नीड टू लॉग प्रोडक्ट्स लेट्स चेक वट वी आर गेटिंग ओके सेंड ओके नाउ गो टू टर्मिनल ओके सो हियर वी आर गेटिंग टू प्रोडक्ट्स ओके so now after that what you need to do is we need to find the total so remove this hmm go to cart model we need to find our cart total okay let cart total is equal to 0 for okay for For let i is equal to zero, i less than products. This products, okay. Products dot length, and then i plus plus, okay. So it will calculate our car total. Car total is equal to car total plus. products i <coughs> products i dot price i dot price okay into into what 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 into <laughs> products i dot i dot count okay so it will mean multiply price with products count okay and after that it will return car total so after that what you need to do is so let log here all both the things products products and car total okay send the request and let's check so 15 3 It's forty five hundred. Okay, then again fifteen into three forty five hundred, and it, it car total is nine thousand. Okay, so after that, what you need to do is let new cart is equal to await new cart new cart cart oh shit cart. will be products okay then this car total car total okay in order by order by we will push mean we will set user dot underscore id 
okay i think what name i have yeah user dot underscore id and then dot save dot save okay control x and after that it will return response dot json response dot json new card okay so let's try once send so here we are getting products in products we have two product then car total is 9000 then order by order by is our login user which id is 3637 b2 eb6 okay 637 yeah b2 eb6 so this is our I mean card id then created it updated it okay so this is for our add to cart functionality so after that what we will do we will create const get user card is equal to async handler async request response okay request response so first of all what we need to do is um, we need to find the user const underscore id is equal to request dot user with the help of request dot user we will find then validate mongodb id underscore id okay after that what you need to do is const mm -mm, try catch error throw new error throw new error error okay in try what you need to do is const cart is equal to await cart dot find cart dot find cart dot find one one what order by order by underscore id okay so order by underscore id okay so response dot json cart cart okay let's check what we are getting so create new get user cart now go now go to auth route okay so control c control v okay cart auth middleware get wish list so it will be get user cart okay so create one new request add request this request will be get cart okay and then base url user slash cart okay authorization of import pair token go to board okay so here we are getting our cart okay so after that okay product dot populate okay one more thing we can do is next dot js okay one more thing we need to do is okay order by id dot populate 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 what products products dot product okay product store product if we send the request again then we are getting our output something like this okay so product dot products id title price okay mm -mm. product Mm 
Hmm. Go to go to go to product. And one more thing we can do is underscore ID title price and we have total after cart model total after discount total after discount then we will get our output something like this okay id products cart total i think i have done something wrong okay and pull it okay let it be like this we will check it later okay products we are getting card total we are getting okay so next thing what we will do is so we have done get user card okay then we will do empty card functionality so const const empty card will be async handler then async request response okay then what we need to do is we need to find the user so do the same copy this okay so validate mongodb id const find one okay so here what we need to do is user is equal to await user dot find by find one okay so we will get our user with the help of okay <coughs> so user dot find one Mm -hmm. underscore id will be okay or we can simply type underscore id okay after that what we need to do is we need to find the cart const const cart cart is equal to await await cart dot find cart dot find one and remove what and what order by order by user dot underscore id okay and then response dot json cart okay so empty cart okay now go to user author out so this request will be <coughs> okay empty cart this request will be of where we need to write router dot delete okay so slash empty dash card then we need auth middleware okay then empty card so create new request mm -hmm. add request request will be delete base url empty card okay then user slash empty dash card okay now so first of all we will do get card okay now we are getting data in card so save it okay there is no token we need to attach the bearer token now go to body so this card is removed now if we go in get card so there is nothing so we are getting null okay so next thing what we will do is mm, okay empty card get. okay 
okay we have done get cart okay then okay so one thing is pending coupon okay let's create our coupon functionality okay after that order functionality is also pending i think yeah order functionality is also pending so const um, apply coupon is equal to is equal to async handler async async oh sorry request response okay so we need coupon coupon we will get from request dot body okay then we need to find the okay we need to find the coupon so valid valid coupon we need to find the coupon in our db await so we need our coupon model also so c o u p o n coupon model slash coupon model okay now go to next i mean go to last so coupon okay dot find one coupon dot find one so oh, 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 name c o u p c o u coupon okay so after that if valid coupon okay valid coupon let's first check what we are getting in valid coupon valid c o u p o n valid coupon now export it what's our apply apply coupon okay so where is or oh, throughout okay post mm -mm. router dot post so router dot post 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 okay slash user slash okay user slash card slash apply apply c o u coupon coupon okay auth middleware then apply coupon <coughs> okay copy this add a request post Okay, this request will be apply coupon apply coupon <coughs> so user slash card slash apply apply coupon coupon okay now body okay authorization bearer token now go to body row json okay you see o u p o n coupon i think c o u p o n coupon will be what mm, what coupon we have added let's check in db connect okay admin so digitic coupons okay holy so holy send okay now go to go to okay so we are getting holy if if we do it wrong make it wrong then we are getting null okay so after that what you need to do is if
if valid coupon is equal to is equal to if valid coupon is equal to is equal to null then what you need to do is um, throw throw new error what error invalid coupon okay invalid coupon mm. after that what we have to do is okay we need to find the user const user is equal to await user dot find one user dot find one so we need two things okay user dot find one underscore id okay with the help of id we will find our user after that user dot id okay user dot id after that what we need to do is let 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 products okay then car total is equal to await cart cart dot find one car dot find one order by order by mm, user dot underscore id okay after that what we need to do is we need to populate like this control c control v okay dot populate product dot product okay so it will give you the product so after that what you need to do is let total after discount discount is equal to cart total cart total Card total okay card total minus card card total minus card total card total minus card total Car total minus car total okay into valid coupon dot discount okay and it will be divided by hundred dot two fixed do fixed two fixed two okay so after that what you need to do is await card dot find one find one and update card dot find one and update card dot find one and update order by user dot underscore id user dot underscore id then total total after discount 
and new it will be new it will be true okay then response dot json response dot json total after discount okay i think i have done something wrong oh oh control x control v response dot json okay so apply coupon so let's check it's holy send fail cannot destructure proper the products as it is null okay cannot destructure property products 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 okay card dot find one products mm -mm. wait card dot find one order by user dot underscore id card dot find one products dot product okay what's the problem mm -mm. where we are i think we need if we do same now if we send the request cannot destructure property car total of intermediate value as it is null oh sorry guys first of all we need to add the product in cart i think okay so now if we apply coupon so now our price is 6300 okay so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching this video so let's meet in the next video in the next video video we will cover create order functionality okay so i think only that functionality is pending okay and create order get orders okay and i think we need to do update order status functionality also okay so we will create our orders and we will create get order functionality and then we will create update order functionality so let start so const create order for now i am doing for cash on delivery okay async handler async request response okay so first of all what we need to do is const cod and coupon coupon applied coupon applied we'll go to request dot body okay so if not cod then what we need to do throw throw new error what error Mm, 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 mm. create cash order failed okay so after that we need to find the user const user is equal to await user dot find by find by i by id or oh, find by id so underscore id and go to go to go to copy this control c then v okay mm, wrap it in try catch try catch error error then throw
शो न्यू एरर एरर ओके एंड पेस्ट इट हियर ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यूजर डॉट फाइन बाय आईडी देन लेट यूजर कार्ड यूजर कार्ड इज इक्वल टू अवेट कार्ड डॉट फाइन वन कार्ड डॉट फाइन वन सो इट विल बी ऑर्डर बाय यूजर डॉट अंडर स्कोर आईडी ओके सो लेट फाइनल अमाउंट इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके ओके इफ इफ सी ओ यू ओके कूपन एप्लाइड एंड 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 यूजर कार्ड डोट टोटल आफ्टर डिस्काउंट ओके देन फाइनल अमाउंट इज इक्वल टू यूजर कार्ड डोट टोटल डिस आफ्टर डिस्काउंट इंटू 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 हंड्रेड एल्स फाइनल अमाउंट विल बी यूजर कार्ड डॉट टोटल यूजर कार्ड डॉट कार्ड टोटल यूजर कार्ड डॉट कार्ड वेर इज कार्ड टोटल ओके इन टू इन टू हंड्रेड ओके देन वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज ओके लेट न्यू ऑर्डर इज इक्वल टू अवेट न्यू सो वी नीड आवर ऑर्डर मॉड्यूल ऑल्सो ऑर्डर एस ऑर्डर मॉडल ओके मॉडल सो लेट अवेट ऑर्डर ओके इन ऑर्डर वट वी हैव वी हैव प्रोडक्ट्स ओके इन प्रोडक्ट्स वी नीड टू सेंड यूजर कार्ट डॉट प्रोडक्ट्स ओके देन वी हैव लेट मी चेक ऑर्डर प्रोडक्ट्स पेमेंट इंटेंट पेमेंट इंटेंट विल बी इन एरे आई डी विल बी पेमेंट आई डी सो हाउ टू क्रिएट आई डी आई डी आई डी ओके गिव मी अमीन एट गाइज ओके यूनिक आई डी एन पी एम ओके सो वी विल यूज दिस copy copy and go to terminal control v okay so mm -hmm. okay i think i have done something wrong you need id so let's see how to use it के कॉन्स यूनिक आई डी इज इक्वल टू यूनिक आई डी कंट्रोल सी कंट्रोल वी एंड कन्वर्ट इट टू कॉन्स्ट देन यूनिक आई डी ओके कंट्रोल सी नाउ गो टू लास्ट सो आई डी विल बी यूनिक आई डी ओके आफ्टर दैट वट यू नीड टू डू इज यू यूनिक आई डी देन वी हैव वट वी कैन स्टोर हियर मैथड मैथड विल बी 
cash on delivery COD okay we will store COD mm, payment method payment method okay payment intent card model okay method will be COD COD okay and then we have amount how is it amount amount a m o u n t amount in amount we need to pass final amount okay then status will be cash on delivery okay created date dot now date dot now and currency currency will be usd okay id method amount status created currency i think yeah so then next one is order by will be user dot underscore id okay then we have order status order status okay cart order module order by order status okay order status will be this one control c control v okay then dot save after that what we need to do is we need to um, we need to decrease the amount of quantity mean quantity of product and we need to increase the sold quantity so let let um, let bulk option okay let update is equal to user cart okay user cart dot products dot map products dot map then item okay item it will return return update one update one update one in update one what it will do filter filter underscore id okay i think i have done something wrong oh got it okay id then item in item we will get product product dot underscore id okay and update update dollar inc increment quantity will be minus item item dot count okay and item dot count sold will be sold will be mm, plus item item dot count okay then what we need to do is okay let or we can say const updated is equal to await product product dot bulk right b u l k bulk right bulk right update okay and update 
so after that it will give response dot json mm -hmm. message message will be success okay so let's create order control c okay create order now go to go to go to both route okay <sighs> okay this request will be post post okay let create here so router dot post slash card slash create create or we can see simply case this order auth middleware okay and then create order so copy this control c mm, add request post create cache order okay so create cache order user slash card okay so in body we need to pass mm, okay row json okay so here we need is two things cod true then c o u p o n applied true okay there is no token then go to authorization error body reference success is not defined user controller okay sorry guys control x control v so let's send the request okay message is success okay now go to go to refresh okay here we are getting orders okay i had done two times now so we are getting two orders so we are getting products okay amount is 63000 I think I have done something wrong. Okay. Okay, user card to total after discount. Okay. If we send the request again, then refresh. Then payment return. Okay, sixty three hundred. If coupon applied true me false and then refresh 19000 okay i think yeah okay so this is done okay our creating order functionality is done refresh yeah 9000 okay so next what we need to do is we need to list the orders so const get orders orders is equal to async handler async handler async then request response okay so to list the orders we need user id okay copy this control c okay then try catch error 
error throw new throw new error error okay so here what you need to do const const user orders is equal to await await order dot find order dot find one with the help of what we will find our order okay on request dot user okay order by order by underscore id okay and it will be written response response dot json user orders so export it get get orders now go to route mm, get request okay control c v so it will be get dash orders then get orders okay so create one more new request this will be get user orders okay base url user slash user slash get dash orders get dash orders okay send the request fail cannot restructure property type okay user control underscore id underscore id cannot restructure mm -hmm. okay got it auth route auth route auth middleware so now try to send the request there is no token authorization bearer send the request so we are able to get our orders here okay so we need to one do one more thing dot populate populate what products products dot products dot product dot execute okay so send so we are getting our orders here okay so one more functionality we need to do is so const update order status status is equal to async handler handler okay is equal to async request response so user okay what we need to do is update order status only admin can update the order status okay so update order status and go to throughout this request will be put control c v okay update update mm. update dash order update dash order slash id okay so here you need to pass auth middleware is admin then update what i have done update order status okay so we need okay products this is our order copy this id control c create new request this request will be put so users less okay users less okay 
user slash order slash order slash update dash order slash id okay so it will update the okay go to authorization bearer token body row json okay so mm -mm, author out okay index of user control so update order status what we need to do is so const status okay status is equal to request dot body const const um, id is equal to request dot params validate mongodb id id okay so params we need to find the order const find order is equal to or await await order dot find by id order dot find by find by id and update update what id okay order dot find by id so what we need to update is we need to update order status okay and payment intent so order status will be status and new it will be then new true okay order status will be then comma we need to update one more thing payment intent payment intent will be payment intent mm, payment intent we need to payment intent then method okay payment intent user control payment intent dot status okay status payment intent miss status payment intent status will be status okay then response dot json will be find order or you can say update order status okay let's wrap it in try catch try catch this try catch will make easy to find you the errors if any is there throw new error error okay so update order status we have okay so request dot prams okay status now go to cart order model so i am doing making it processing okay so status will be processing okay let's send the request and check not found api slash user slash order request will be put okay so let's check what the problem update order status update order status go to route order slash update dash order order slash update dash order then we have id okay what's the problem if you put it here mm -hmm.
base url user slash order slash okay send body row station status will be processing okay why it is not found not found status fail e-commerce middleware api okay user slash order oh sorry put yeah till now it is working here Mm -mm. Okay. Order slash update as order. Why it is not found? API slash okay. is less user okay slash order then update that dash order update dash order let me copy this copy paste slash why it is not working okay okay let me check update order Okay, copy so as we okay send order yar why it is not found api slash user u s e r okay slash order okay let me remove this order oh got it guys we need to add slash here okay so if you send the request so our status is updated okay payment intent status is also updated and order status is also updated okay so guys thanks for watching this video let's meet in the next video in next video um, we are going to start our um, admin panel and our website part both side by side okay so thanks for watching this video okay please like and subscribe my channel okay and if you know something extra okay in this node.j side then please let me know in the comments thanks guys thanks for watching this video